okay, shh, don't tell anybody. We're going live a little bit early because we're too excited about the stream. But at 3 o'clock, it, well, when the actual stream start time, that's when I'll do my intro. Okay, so really you like too excited about 11 people. Oh, dang like it. 3 o'clock? See, and then it, we, okay, there we go. I had my stream actually playing. So for you, like 11 or 12 people watching, you're just going to get a little early view. Okay, yeah, just, where are you going? Don't tell anybody. Where are you going? Uh, I'm going to put this in the bay. Oh, the warp it's, cell. Yeah, go put the warp cell there. By the way, yeah. um, I uh, <laughs> loaded up all the drills. Why are so, we whispering? I don't know why we're whispering. I, lo <laughs> <laughs> I loaded up all the drills we have because we had so many drills. So every one of them has a fresh battery and an empty canister on it. Oh, good. Yeah. So anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh, and all of a sudden... The number of viewers jumped way up. That's cool. Uh, well, I mean, what do you expect? A uh, true, 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 true. So, hey, that's not the button I wanted. I'm locked out. I can't. Oh, that's why they have the bars there. So you can't accidentally get into the elevator when it's up. That makes sense. Oh no. What? what? I'm doing stupidness. Hold on. Are you? Yeah. Okay. There we go. <laughs> okay. Are you putting the one with the least amount of warp fuel in it on the top? Yes. Good. Okay. Okay. Don't kick me this time. I'm getting out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> you like phase through the ground, so I'm it's 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 a little weird. I know. <laughs> I kicked you in the face. I can't believe that. I know. Oh, I was gonna actually show that video, but um, anyway. Nah, that's fine. So, what else do we need before we go? Uh, I think that's everything, actually. Oh, I have a gun that I need to put okay. away. I'm going to go quickly make sure. I, oh, I'm going to shut things down and, and like, depressurize and stuff like that. Because we're going to be gone for a little while. Yeah, I'm going to put this gun in the... Um... Well, we're bringing it with us, right? Well, we've got... We should we've have already two. got a gun on it, yeah. You want me to bring my gun, too? Or I was going to stash it on the... I don't oh, know. It's got no ammo. I was going to stash it on the um, the airlock. That's a good idea. Okay. Yeah, Do it, it. the airlock on the stage. Actually, I'll put it in the um, the main bay here with okay. the, the extra suit, just in case. Do we have ammo in here, too? No. I'm going to grab us two sticks of ammo. Grab just one, because what are the All chances right. we're actually going to even need a gun here? Pretty slim, I'd True. Say. Yeah, yeah. Just just one mag, and then I'll load it, and then we'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then um, I'm actually going to leave the outpost with air, and I'm going to shut down the power supply module. It's already... The fusion reactor's already <laughs> down on it anyway. I shut down the... Unless you turned it back on, but I shut down the lights and everything. Uh, I must turn it back on then. So, huh. that's fine. Uh, oh, air filters. That's that's the other thing I was... What was that? What? Oh, that was you. Okay. Yeah. I forgot. I have the air filters still going, trying to desperately, like, clean up our air because it's an absolute oh, mess. Yeah. I uh, did switch leaving... out... I switched out one of the... Um, one of the carbon filters. So each... <laughs> so both the Outpost and the Kristen now have a 0% carbon filter and one with percentage on it are we it's about time to go live by the way yeah i'm just making sure everything's okay or we're we gonna leave the lights on in the the outpost too or oh, you can turn the lights off i mean it consumes power yeah turn the lights off All right, the only thing consuming power is the Kristen, and she's going to be on dock soon anyway, so. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Sounds good. Let's head into the Kristen let's, that has lights. Let's do that, and then I'm actually going to do my intro now that we're officially starting. Oh, I went too fast and smacked into you. <laughs> and it's, it's that explains, backwards. yeah, that explains why I, like, kind of flew off the direction I had intended to go. Oh, All right. Sure. Okay, so, shh. Shh, I'm going to go live now, okay? Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay.
Greetings, I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech, and we are in Hellion. You know why we're in Hellion? Because of the new Craftwork update. That's right. The Craftwork update makes Hellion, takes Hellion from a, an awesome game to an awesome game. Yeah, like, it's it takes it from, all right, into... All right. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> so I got to show you a couple of the things that they have added. Because get out of my way. Sorry. All right, Sorry. a couple of things that they have added that have just made me just love this. Okay, if we go into life support, you now have access to every individual room. It's how what the pressurization, the air quality, and the temperature, which I don't think is really implemented yet, but. You can individually pressurize and depressurize every room from a control panel. And that means that anything can sort of be a uh, an airlock. Where are you going? A pseudo airlock. I mean, it, I need to grab some air filters because ours are basically dead. Oh, okay. Uh, just be in, in, keep in mind, one of the air filters in there is already at 0%, so don't grab that one. Uh, yeah, one of our air filters is at zero. Oh, yeah. my God. That's okay. why. I, I, it, we had two zeros, so I swapped out one of them so that they would both right. be actually somewhat useful. I Yeah, I'm just going to leave it. Okay. Anyway, we are... Um, yeah, they've added a whole bunch of stuff, and there's also now the ability to craft items. However, you need a fabrication module... And we plan to go get one. However, before we do that, we have to go get more warp fuel because we're kind of running low. Actually, we found that other warp fuel pod thing. So we might be okay heading straight toward a fabrication module. What do you think? Yeah, I'm thinking we have enough to get there, grab one, and leave. And if we don't find one, we can grab something at least. Yeah, hopefully we'll find warp fuel. So yeah. my pilot, go. Yes, sir. And uh, oh, I need you to undock us. Oh, yeah, I'll go undock us. Did yeah. you? Why did you close the door? Because I thought we were undocked for some reason, so I depressurized <laughs> it. Because <laughs> I'm only thinking halfway, apparently. Yeah, apparently. Because even if we were undocked, we still want that pressurized. Otherwise, uh, only if we're on the outside would we want it depressurized. All right, we're going. We are disconnected. Yep. I'm setting up an orbit now. Okay. Up a nice, nice, soft, gentle orbit. Right I don't believe in soft, gentle orbits. It, not after what we experienced. <laughs> <laughs> we've had some very interesting orbits as we've been preparing for this. This is a brand new uh, game for us. Not game. No, this is a brand new save game. A brand new world for us. We... With the new craft work update, we started from ground zero and we just played for what three, four hours, something like that, and just got oh the basics. What, what's the matter? We might not have enough fuel <laughs> for what <laughs> to get to every station. <laughs> oh, great. Okay, we have enough to get there. Okay, I don't know if we'll have enough to get back though. Well, okay, but hopefully, ever station will have fuel. Um, powering up the FTL. Could you power up the um, fusion reactor, please? It's Isn't it already on? No, I'm okay. pretty sure it was off. Well, then I will turn it on. Unless you turned it on. Which I, I did not have. turn it on, so it is now far starting up. It's firing up. Um, by the way, we don't, why don't we have a core containment field generator? Because we just don't. Oh. Our fusion reactor doesn't have a uh, a resource uh -oh. injector either. Huh? I don't know. What? Stop! Uh -oh. Stop! Uh owing. I might not align in time. You'll align in time. You still have twenty seven seconds. You got plenty of time, man. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Twelve seconds. 11, 10. Come on, faster, faster, faster. Four, three, what? 
Oh. Woo! <laughs> Here we go. Now you get to see. See, this is basically like us recording, but now you get to guys get to see all of it. Oh this. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we cut out the ten yeah. minutes to reach the destination. As we just goof around and do nothing during for for nine minutes and twenty six seconds. Is this where we just kind of do the yeah, doon yeah, yeah. doon 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 copyright. <laughs> <laughs> doubt it um <laughs> yeah i doubt it too i was gonna go take a quick look downstairs and show people what we have gathered what we have available <laughs> could you imagine someone copywriting that it'd just be like yeah well, i mean there, we, it is copyrighted but it doesn't matter. yeah but it's just like <laughs> if if they copyright someone singing it especially like me singing it and i'm poor at singing it's like really you want to say that's good enough to be considered the actual content? <laughs> uh, no, and th that's the other thing. It's, it's called fair use. <laughs> so, yeah, no. Anyway. Look at look at all this stuff that we can like tear apart for things. Yeah, well, we're going to have to tear apart some of it. Because that's one of the things about the fabrication module is you basically melt down and you get material from it. And they now show that. So, like, my helmet is worth two of that thing and one of that thing. We have no idea what it is. We don't know what those you know, things it's... are, but it's two of one and one of the other. Yeah, and this uh, repair tool is... Was that like four of one thing and one of the other? Yeah. I don't know. And then this is... Oh, raw resource canisters don't have value. Okay. Oh, I, I mean, if these do. I don't know. Nope, they don't either. Oh, okay. I think not everything is ready. And then crowbars have three of that thing. Ooh, warp cells have. Oh, wow! Warp cells have four of that thing and four of the other thing. Ooh, nice. <laughs> we <laughs> so we can tear that one down to make a new one. It would be great if we knew what those things were. Yeah, I mean, if it costs four to make, then that would be awesome. Though I doubt it. Yeah. Well, who knows? Who knows? Um. So yeah, we're also all ready to do some mining, but. Oh, show uh, show the the new thing that they added. Oh, the new thing that they added. What? Yeah, where you just stared at a, at a slot. And it tells you what it oh, was yeah, yeah, yeah. So before, it was a pain because each one of these slots could only hold one thing, and you didn't know what that one thing was until you tried to put that thing in that place. Um, and now you stare at a slot, and it comes up. This one says slot for multiple items. Um, but over here, this one says slot for catalyst. This one, you have to look away in the back because it's a bug. Uh, EM field controllers and... That's EM field controller. Anyway, you get the idea. Uh, core containment field generator and also core containment field generator. But that is a resource injector. There we go. You get the idea. It's 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 handy. Um, and then, like, these are batteries over here. Battery pack. So, you know what we didn't show before we left? kitten you okay kitten what what's the matter kitten you're just standing there and staring sorry i forgot to put my slime down <laughs> oh, oh okay um so you know what we forgot to show before we left oh the reactor <clears throat> there yep yeah, we have a we have a power supply module which has this big old reactor in it and it's attached to our base and we picked it up and got it. And it looks pretty cool, but you can't see it now. What was that about? I forgot to shut the door. Oh, that's a good idea. It's, you, know, you don't have to, but it, it is handy to have that door shut in case you need to do things. What was that? I don't know. I walked forward and you did too, and you shoved me back like 50 That's feet. right. Don't be doing that. <laughs> you like pushed me or something. You're like, meh. Uh, hey, what the? <laughs> Why was I suffocating for a second? I don't know. I punched you in the face. <laughs> I don't oh, think that would make you I, I wonder if it was the just the audio. Oh, maybe. Because yeah. <laughs> like I don't think I punched you in the neck. So. <laughs> I oh oh there we go. Uh, hey, I'm a little bit bloody now. Okay. 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 So now it's now now it's fair. <laughs> oh. Oh. What? I'm really injured now. 
Oh, that's, hey, fair enough. After you kicking me in the head and me getting really injured. <laughs> I am monochromatic right now. Yay. <laughs> oh, that was, that was like five minutes worth of goofing off. So now we have another four and a half minutes to deal with. I'm going to eat a piece of bread. <laughs> and by the way, <laughs> Mr. Fonts, uh, thing is my favorite technical word. That is, that's, I call everything a thing. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, um, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a thing. <laughs> that's just, I don't know why, but that's just what I do. Oh, what? do you cover, um, a question from Luke? V- no. Luke <clears throat> says, if you consider playing Star Citizen. Oh, not only have I considered, I have actually played it. Granted, it was like a year ago. Um, I have so a friend of mine is a actually is one of the backers and got like five copies of it with his backing level and oh, so jealous. I know I know so he gave several several of his friends including myself uh, a copy of Star Citizen and we played it for a little bit way back when when really all there was was a little bit of dogfighting and like a couple of missions and I mean it was very 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 limited. And then it kind of got old real fast, and so we stopped playing, and we're just kind of waiting for it to gather a few more features before we head back in and try it out. We actually have our own, like, um, what is it? Uh, there's, there's like, two different things they have that are, a like... Com- a that, company, maybe? Like, yeah, there's, like, a company, but there's also, like, a religion, I think. <laughs> right, yes, I remember this conversation <laughs> It's now. A really kind of a cool idea. So you can be part of basically two different, completely different kinds of guilds. One, you know, one is more your business and the other one is more your, like, your vision. It, any, I don't know. Anyway, so we have the, more the, the, it's, it's basically a religion and we've got this whole thing set up and it's, it's cool. Our religion is all about, um, what is it? It's basically that the elements, uh, like like things that you can mine, resources were placed here with the purpose of being used, and it would be an insult to the planet to not mine it hollow and use its resources. And <laughs> it's just kind to of be honest. It's funny. Yeah. What? I I'm a little bit disappointed. Why? I have expected your religion to be essentially a copy paste of the Ferengis with the rule of acquisition with how much you like trading and stuff. It's, <laughs> it's not unlike that. It's, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's not completely unlike it's that. It's close, but not yeah. a complete rip. We no, it's not. I hadn't really thought about it until you just said it, but it's, it's basically, it's an excuse to, to, you know, do what we want effectively. Well, you know, rule of acquisition 272. I, I don't. Um, war is good for business. Well, that's You know, true. rule of acquisition 273? No. Peace is good for business. <laughs> is that true? Is that actually a it thing? Is. I it like is. it. Those two are like the same. Uh, oh. They're like the two rules next to each other. And then, of course, there's the one rule of acquisition. How do you know all this um, and why? I, so when I was playing Stowe, I played a, um, a Ferengi and I spent the time to grind a rare event to give me both copies of the rules of acquisition. One was a text-based one. The one that's my favorite <laughs> was an audio book that when you <laughs> clicked it, it would actually say a random rule of acquisition. <laughs> okay. That's very cool. It was very oh, hard to get. Are we way. flying through a through a field? Uh, hang on. Where's the, yes, we're in a debris, debris field. field. Are we going through it? Or are we we're going up. to be landing in it? We should be through it. We shouldn't be in it. Okay. I put us like next to the, uh, the planet. Okay. I don't like debris fields. <laughs> After what happened, I don't blame you. Yeah, debris fields are nasty. They're basically, well, they're debris fields, but stuff is all flying by way too fast and destroying things and whatnot. Oh, okay. I don't have a jetpack. That's okay. We've got spares. 
There's one. Me, do you want me to bring you one or? Yeah, I'll. I mean, it's right here. I'll get it. Also, make sure you have extra personal con um, uh, resource canisters. There's more yeah, downstairs. Have you have one. I'm carrying three. So. Well, I mean, no offense, but I expect you to carry three. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I think I've been playing the game a little bit longer, so I, I'm okay with carrying one. I oh, blah, two, blah, but... blah. Like, <laughs> have I ever... Never mind. I'm not even... <laughs> it's called always being prepared. There's also a thing called being overprepared. There's also a thing called me having to deliver personal canisters to you because you were almost out of oxygen. <laughs> so... I don't know Shush. what you're talking mm -hmm. about. <laughs> That has never... Ooh, fabrication module. Ooh, go for it. I'm going. I'm not even, like, asking for anything. No, just, just go. It. Fabrication module, we're on our way. Is it in the um, debris field? It's going to be soon. Well, let's get to it before it is. Working on it. I don't know if we'll have enough to get back, though. Enough fuel... <laughs> Well, hopefully we can make We'll worry fuel. about that when we get there. Yeah, exactly. I don't care if we die a horrible death as long as I can see the inside of a fabrication I module. I should have enough fuel to bring the module here or close to here. Okay. I, I love this monochromatic. That, that uh, maneuver <laughs> node is not green. It's just a darker shade of gray. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, it's like, oh, it's gray. How do I know if... Oh, okay, it's a darker gray. <laughs> we were talking about this before the stream that there's current, there's no way to know how hurt you are in this game other than the world starts going to black and white. And so if everything is in full color, then you're not injured. If of course, Obviously, it's really realistic, by the way. I don't know about you, but when I get a cut, it, the world just goes black and white. Oh, out. totally. Well, I mean, there is a certain amount of that. But anyway, it's very hard to tell whether you're injured or not. So, and oh, and the, by the way, the hilarious thing is the stim packs, if you look at them, they tell you how many hit points they give you. Yeah, and you can't see your hit points. But you all, have no so. idea. Because like, is that like half my hit points? Is that <laughs> like I have no idea how many hit points I have. So we were saying that they need some sort of medical facility that at least tells you how injured you are. Yeah, like a scanner from yeah, uh, Subnautica or something. Like something similar to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something would like be perfect. that. Or even if like the stim packs, which look fairly high tech, if they were to like have a little right click or something. Yeah, like a button or something that would tell you before you used them. Because the other thing is, when you use them, they go away, whether you needed it or not. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. We'll be there in 38 seconds. Yep. Expect high damage, because it looks like we're going into the debris field. Uh, yeah, well, we just took hull integrity one point. Well, like I said, I'm going to go in, grab it, and leave. Okay. Um, that's, Are we not, not even bad. going inside of it? We're just nope. We're just docking. Just dock and up and get out. Okay. Yeah. After what happened last time, I am not taking the chance. Yeah. What happened with last this time? Low amount of fuel. Um. Well, <laughs> we decided, hey, we're going to try and find a fabrication module. We did, and then yep. it blew up. Yep. But um, we ran out of fuel. Yep. Completely. We 100%. ran out of fuel, and then as we were trying to figure out how to get back. We ended up stuck in a debris field, and then it um, it blew up, so we lost yeah. it. Yeah. And, by the way, we were still out of fuel. <laughs> yes. So we were then we didn't oh. have one, and we were stuck. Hi. What? What? It's, like, literally right here. Yeah, it is. I see it. I am really tempted to go get inside of the thing, but go. Never mind. Don't. Just ignore me. Yep, initiating docking procedures. Give me fabrication module, grapple, moving to intercept. Okay. Bye thing. You went past it. Yep, I know. Oh, it's so tempting to go out there. 
It's only got one port. I just hope that it's not too badly damaged. Yeah, me too. You know, if I did go over there, if I did go over there and get in before... Do it now. Okay. Do it now. I'm going. I'm going. I ah. understand what you're saying, and I'm not going to stop moving, so you just... Okay, hang on. Hang on. Open. Like, speed your way. Because going as fast I, as I can. I'm oh, the so. other thing that they did, by the way, is they made it so that <laughs> the airlocks depressurize way faster. And that is Insanely both fast. good and bad. <laughs> okay, I am heading that direction as fast as I can. Go ahead and start docking. I'm going to beat you to it. I'm hoping so. Oh, yeah. Totally. I'm, like, already here. All right, immediately start repairing. I'm going to do... You knocked it. Oh, it got knocked. How did I knock it? I just instantly said you knocked it because it got knocked. Shut up. <laughs> okay. I'm concerned right yeah, now. Yeah, because okay? it couldn't have been you, right? No, actually, it couldn't have been because it's my face. Like, my, <laughs> my face is the butt of the ship, so I couldn't have knocked it. Something like that... Oh, come on. As long as you repair it, it should be fine. Um, I just repaired a big old hole. And I'm looking for other things. Ooh, cargo terminal. Okay. All right, I'm coming towards. Okay. I'm looking around. Ooh, personal defense locker. I need to turn on my lights. Hey, now you guys can see too. Okay, personal defense locker is empty. Lots of shelves and stuff. Any ammo? Explosives? No. Nothing. Okay. What's in here? Nothing. I am not seeing any other damage in here. I do kind of want to look at this. Hang on. Fabricator. Drag resource for crafting. I don't have any resources to drag for crafting. Okay. So there's nothing inside of this place. Like, at all. Okay, stay inside. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, didn't think I was going anywhere. <laughs> I almost got sucked out the door. All right, are we going? I'm trying to. Ooh, we have power. Yay. Um, oh, we're at 87% whole integrity. We're good. Not a problem. Charging FTL. Mm, we're getting hit. Oh, we're at 96%, though. We're fine so far. Okay. So let's see. Um, I have a resource container that I may be able to pull stuff out of. Oh, I can pull stuff out of the oh, crystal. No. What? What's the matter? Oh, no. I tried to do the... Um we don't have enough fuel, or not enough uh, power. I tried to do an orbit, and it uh, worked. Okay. Well, power we can fix. Fuel, not so much. Are we still good? What is this? Insert item. It's not going. <clears throat> but what's not going? The, um... Let me see if there's something wrong with something. Hold on. <laughs> okay. I don't know what's going on. Apparently. Um, oh, that's dry ice. That's not useful. Oh, you have oxygen over there. Oh, are you... I, I do? Oh. What? We no longer have oxygen over here. Why? Uh, I think air quality. Oh, yeah, okay. Not much we can do about that right now. You could just depressurize everything and be fine. All right, I'm trying another orbit here. Okay. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. I think... You know what? I know what I'm going to do. It won't jump. What do you mean? Ooh. So I try to do a jump... Whoa. It says I have enough fuel. 
but it won't actually make the jump. There we go. I got it. Go. It'll take a minute and 40 seconds before we're able to jump. Fine. We can make all kinds of things, including... Oh, my goodness. Uh, warp cells are expensive. Yeah, well... I don't know if I can get us back home. Do you want me to try to get us back home? Try to get us to somewhere that where we can find warp cells because it's going to be a while before we can make a warp cell. Uh, I don't think we can go anywhere where we can find warp cells. Okay. Well, get us out of the debris field at least. I can get us out of the debris field, but then we'll be stuck. And you can't get uh, us back? You can't get us back to our home base? I can try to get us home, but okay. I don't think we'll have enough fuel, but I will try. Try. Because if we can get back to home base, we have options. Okay, I'm going to unload this. I'm going to play with the fabricator. I don't know... We do not have enough fuel to get home. But I can get us out of the debris field. Well, okay. I mean, at least that, because then we can use the trick we had that we used before. Yeah, I can get us around Everest. Ooh. Oh. Well, that did a thing I didn't mean to do. Okay. I'll try and conserve as much fuel as possible to make this work. Okay. I have six carbon fibers and an alloy, which means I can make things. Oh, darn it. I can, I can make a basketball. I I almost want to say do it. I, I'm... What do you... Oh, here we go. Um, oh, it's one alloy. I only have one alloy. I'm doing it. I need. I, I have to make something. I'm making a basketball right now. A minute and 40 seconds. Can we handle that much? What's the whole integrity on the... Um... Ooh. Um, we're at 81%. Oh, sure. We'll be fine. Okay. And if anything pops up inside, I can fix it. So, at least for a little while. You know, I wonder what I can get from an empty warp cell. Because if it's missing, we might actually be able to... I don't know. Um, Real Tech says, I really hope those fabricating times are in minutes and seconds and not hours. <laughs> yeah. It, well, the basketball went in one second, not one minute. So luckily, yes. <laughs> and uh, Daniel wow. J said, uh, and that's the stream. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Kaboom. We're not dead yeah. yet. So, uh, 30 seconds about. I wonder if there's any production loss if you go back and forth a bunch of times. You know what I mean? Hmm. There's a, something called a Tesla ball. That's interesting. And there's a whole bunch of things I've never even heard of. We can make a coffee machine. Why do I need to find nitrous oxide to make a hoop? <laughs> jumping. Jumping. Oh, yes. Where are we jumping to? We're jumping around burner. Or, sorry, around um, Everest Station. We will be in a clear, open area to assess damage. Okay. Um, we are... <laughs> only part of this... Only part of this room is in the jump field. Oh yeah, it's for some reason that happens with um when you're yeah. towing something. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it makes me Please tell me that's only a graphical glitch and if I walk out of it it's I'm It's only fine. a graphical glitch. <laughs> Cuz that's creepy. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm going to start depressurizing everything. Okay.
actually, hang on. This basketball, I can, I should be able to, basketball jettison? What? Um, here's a gift for you, Epic. Okay, so I'm not going to get back from my basketball the same thing. Oh, are we out of warp? Yeah. Oh, okay. Are Oh, are you pressurizing back here? Sweet. Yep, I'm pressurizing for you. It's hey. at point four bar. Yes, it is. It is now breathable for you. It is now breathable for me, and I have a basketball. I don't suppose you have a... I suck at throwing it, but... What? Um, A life support console you can look at no okay no there's um there's an environmental monitor so i yeah, can tell that's... that it's 0.8 bar <laughs> and 59 air quality awesome that's right. some good um, stuff right there i gotta tell you no i'm coming over are you can you bring some stuff with you sure what do you want me to bring um, a warp cell that has zero in it or more and anything that you like those crowbars would be good. Bring those anything that you want to recycle. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Wait, I can get some nitrous oxide or nitro, I guess from here. So if I just do that, grab a little bit, and then go to the fabricator, the hoop. Oh, nice. I actually can. I only need to give it four. Actually, I'm not sure if it shouldn't overuse, right? No, it wouldn't do that. Ooh, 3D printer. 3D printer is pretty. You'll be happy to know I have a hoop. Ooh. You have a basketball and a hoop. Nice. Now the question is, where do I put it? Do you have a, a repair gun? Yes. Okay. That's for a poster. I wonder if you can only put the hoop up in that one spot in the cargo bay. <laughs> I have a feeling it is. Yeah. So in the cargo bay, there's a spot to put this. I will just bring it with with me. All right, I'm coming over. Where did I put Where did I put the basketball? Did I pick it up again? I did not. Where's the basketball? What did I do with the basketball, guys? Did anybody see what I did with the basketball? Is it? I don't have it in my interface. Huh. You know what? I'm going to hold on to the wall. And I'm glad I did. <laughs> <laughs> you were about to trick me. Oh, good idea. Yep, we can recycle one of the drills. Oh, I've got two drills to recycle. Oh, okay. Because we have four total. Yeah, so. that's plenty. As well as the resource canister and the battery and that kind of thing. It actually goes... Oh. That's interesting. I wonder if that'll work. I don't think that's going to work. Because huh. that's where they come out. Over here, I believe, is where you recycle them. But that's not going to fit in there. So take off the canister and the battery first. Uh, also, do, can you put the warp cell in there first? Yeah. Oh, and this doesn't have anything. So it's see if I put this in here. Oh, no, it does. Six carbon fibers and an alloy. Interesting. I don't know why it doesn't show it on here. But I do know that I'm going to fix this a little bit. 
we're at eighty percent hole integrity. If you want to play around with that, I'm gonna go out and do a little bit of um, fixing. Oh wait, we don't have a way to. We're gonna lose air when we op when we open that. Okay, never mind. Yep. So make sure you see what it says up at the top when it says where it says insert item. So like that battery pack is going to give you two of whatever that is. Carbon fibers. Yeah, we already have lots of carbon fibers, so don't do that quite yet. Can you can you load in um can you load in the warp cell? I already did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Uh, that didn't give us very much. Hang on. Let's let's see what it takes. So basically oh, everything gives us carbon fibers. Yeah, because that's like the main thing. So we need thirty-eight carbon fiber. Um, yeah, I think so, so. This is this is supposed to be. Yeah, we need a lot for a warp cell. This is supposed to be take apartable or whatever, what and is? it's not. The EM field emitter. Um. Why didn't you pick up the scrap metal? Oh, what scrap metal? Was there scrap metal over here? Yeah, see? Oh, I didn't see it. That's why. It was on one of the shelves. Huh, cool. Well, recycle it. Do any of the other ones have anything on them? Nope. 22 carbon fibers and four alloys. Ooh, nice. Yeah, you're right. I can't do this one either. Maybe, can I put it here? Nope. Is there a spot down there? Nope. No, there's nowhere to stick this. Can I stick it in you? No. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't let me put this in that slot, so I'm sure that's a bug. They'll work on it later. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is. Get out of wow. here. Wow. Get out. Let's see, what is this going to give me? Six carbon fibers and one alloy. I'll oh, wait. Okay. What can we make? With carbon fibers and carbon fibers and alloys, what can we make? Is there a way to like I don't know. I don't know either. I'm going to start Here, looking. I'll let I'll let you look. Here. Okay. I'm looking. We yeah, can make No, nope, we don't have that. We can make that's ammo, I think. Uh, a lot of different kinds of ammos that we can make. Don't the biggest thing is these circuit things we don't have. Oh, we can make an um, anti-personnel gr grenade. <laughs> we can make lots of different guns and ammo. And resource containers. We actually could make with some helium, hydrogen, sorry. Um, no. Helium. Helium, I think. <laughs> we could make uh, more battery packs or a welding tool, but I don't think it would have any in it. That's part of the issue there. And, oh, we can make resource injectors. That's cool. Because even just one resource injector can make a pretty big difference. So all the all the basic level upgrades, like the servo motors and the core containment fields, like just the tier ones, only require um, those two base items and a couple of elements. But anything above that requires circuitry, which we do not have. So basically, we're boned. <laughs> kind of, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so we can go back to... Yeah. We need those circuits to be able to do pretty much anything. I wonder what we could melt down that has circuits in it. Or is that a multiple level sort of situation? No. Uh, small stim packs we can make, by the way. 
as well as advanced impacts. So if you're hurt, you can make a stim pack. I would very much like a stim pack right now. I will. I'll tell you what. I will go ahead and set that up. It is crafting a stim pack. And just because we have this extra stuff, I'm going to get rid of these extra batteries and so we can't maybe this put extra canister. So we can't put this in there. How does one? Hmm. Uh, come grab this stim pack, will you? Now I want to see what happens if I put that in there because that's the only place I can stick that. Oh. <laughs> Feel better? So much better. I'm not constantly getting boom, 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 boom. <laughs> um, oh, so much better. Interesting. I don't see any way. I don't see any way to take that thing apart. Are you making sure that whatever you put in there is giving you things? Because I know yeah. when, when I put the basketball in there, it said jettison. It didn't actually show anything. Yeah, so far everything's giving us nothing but carbon filters and alloys. Yeah, but we have so many extras of these, we just might as well get the raw resources from them anyway. Yeah. I'm really not that upset. We had like so many batteries. I'm just like, eh, who cares? Well, yeah. <laughs> I want to at least have one spare for each drill we have. Uh, that's what I left. I left uh, oh, okay. four batteries total. Okay. And we can make batteries too. It's yeah. just that there, it isn't a one-to-one. -one. So we're not getting back what we put in there. If, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. So... Next thing I'm thinking, we need to figure out how we're going to get out of here. I wonder. Oh, <laughs> David Perry, you can hear that door. Yeah, it's really loud. <laughs> it's me, and it's just outside my office, and you're probably wearing headphones. Most people, I don't think you're hearing that. But, yeah, it's really loud. Right. <laughs> I guess we're ready then. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing else to do in here right now. I still like the module, though. That was pretty this cool. Is, oh, I'm really glad we got this. Now we need to go try and attach it to our base. Yeah, we have to figure that one out. All right, do you want to come in here, and I'm going to force this door open? Are we going to... Let me... Close the door on the inside? Yeah, that way we just... We can uh, pull that in. Yeah. All right. I'm ready. Okay. Holding on. Ooh, yeah. If you haven't um, seen this game before and don't know why I'm talking about holding on, if you don't hold on to the wall using the shift key, you'll get blown out the airlock and you can take a lot of damage if you hit something. Mm-hmm. Okay, so shall I go look at the map then and see what? Yep. What you options have we have? Oh, okay. what goes here? A uh, plasma accelerator goes here. We're missing one. Well, we might be able to make one now. Maybe that's why we're having horrible warp usage. It's quite possible. Um, do you want to go back and see if you can make a tier one? <laughs> did you, by the way, did you grab the crowbars? Yep. Okay. Good. And I already, uh, you already did them. Okay. Yeah. So you did left you us with, okay. Did I take the air out of what? No, no. Can you take the air out of the, um, fabrication module? Do you, oh, you just, good idea. Yes, I will do that. Um, let me just really quickly put this drill away. There we go. I didn't like it hanging out on me.
yeah, it's a lot more efficient just to have everything depressurized while we're working. Okay. Yeah, we have like this maintenance mode for our base that we just leave um, all the doors wide all. open and, <laughs> and yeah, pull the air right out of it and everything. It's, yeah, it's awesome. So you'll be that, able to see when it when you lose all the pressure in there, right? You should. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let me take a look at this navigation. That um that addition the addition to the game was amazing. I totally agree. I can see through the window the little status panel. <laughs> like watching it count down bars. Okay, so I'm gonna scan. Let's see if we can find anything nearby that might have any chance. Oh my gosh. Zoom in. <laughs> it's funny, like everything that it can see is on the far side of its orbit. Got a couple of derelicts. That's not going to really be helpful. Another power supply module. What's an IC? IC? Yeah. Is it a module? IC dash AC. Yeah. Give me a second and I will open my PDA. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, IC is an industrial container module. What? Ooh. That could have fuel in it. I mean, it's yeah. probably got like a bunch of those containers. But I so think there's that's a we should go. there's a corridor left module and an and a derelict and an IC in the same spot. Unfortunately, mm, I can't tell if it's leaving the. It might be heading into the debris field. Yeah, I think it's heading toward the debris field. It looks like we might have only a few minutes. I'll leave that one up to you. Okay. Uh, do we have any warp fuel at all? We have like maybe a percent. Oh. Oh. That's why I said we have this will be our last jump. Where the heck? So we basically used it all. So we're not yeah. warping. Yep. Yeah. Well, there is only one technique that I can think of left then. Mm -hmm. The technique that saved us last time. Yeah. So it just takes a while. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, do you want to do it this time, or do you want me to? Wait a minute. We can't even do that. Why? Didn't you take the fuel out of the engines? Oh, that's not even the one I was thinking of. No, that's that's not an option. Oh. What are you thinking of, then? I'm thinking of basically um, one of us commits suicide, respawns back on the uh, base, and calls for another ship. We already have one of those. <laughs> I know, but it's floating out in the somewhere. Yeah, I can do it. Just give me a second. I'm looking to see if we have a. No, we can't make a, a plasma. Okay. Because what's it? But there's not. Uh, yeah, there's no way there's enough fuel to do anything. Yeah, three warp cells, zero, four, and zero. That's not going to Did you say you have the hoop, by the way? Yes, I do. Okay. Dude, put the hoop up. I'm, I'm going to go put the hoop up, because at least we'll have that. Yeah, I want to see the hoop before I leave. <laughs> I think it's important to get that hoop, you know, doing Yeah, the... morale. Morale is just... Exactly. Important. Exactly. So, we should be able... There you go. We have a hoop. I don't have a ball, though. Eh. I want to see the hoop. Man, even okay. So we've got this upgraded jetpack that has one circuit in it, but that's not enough. Do you remember how many circuits did the um, thing need? Oh, I don't remember. Okay, I'm gonna go take a quick look then. 
Because if we can make one warp cell, that would be enough to get this thing somewhere. Wait, where are you? I'm heading back to the fabrication module because I want to see... Oh, but I wanted to show you something. Well, you can show me something in a minute. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Hey. Okay, here we go. I'll open it. What are you opening? The bay door. I thought you were saying hey because I closed the bay door. Oh, no. No, I'm actually back on the fabrication module looking at what options we have. Warp cell. Yeah, we need... So if we can manage to get two... Oh, do we have HE3? That's the other question. Uh, helium. And we actually do have enough on the Kristen. So, if we can manage to get two circuits, I think we could actually do this. Two circuits. Yeah, and one of them is in that upgraded backpack, which means... Hang the upgraded on. suit probably has one, too. It doesn't. Ah. I'm going to go ahead and recycle these empty warp cells. Since there's really no reason not to. But we do have the helium. All we need is the circuitry. So maybe even start looking at like tier two upgrade modules and stuff like that. You want me to rip out tier two modules? Well, I mean, it's that or we have to you know, commit suicide. <laughs> nah. Cause we don't even have engine fuel to be able to fly out of warp. I don't know what the circuitry looks like though. Uh, it's the third thing. I mean, there's not a whole lot to it. I'm going to pull this catalyst out. Let's see. Oh, that's a tier one catalyst. That's not going to help. Also going to fix this solar panel that's almost dead. Okay, let me go look at the other side. I think we have a tier two um, upgrade on the other solar panel, right? Yes, we do. Can see the color from here. Okay. Even that doesn't have a circuit on it. Dang it. Let me go look over here. Uh, there's a resource injector, but if it's a tier one, that's definitely not going to work. What are you finding? Are you finding anything? No, not anything so far. It's a tier one resource injector. That's not going to do it either. Okay. Engine service point. What do we got in here? We've got a plasma accelerator. It has no recycling output at all. That's just a regular resource. High energy laser. No resort. No, no thing. Not doing a thing. No resources. That was the words I was trying to speak. It's a regular one. I don't think there's anything else on the outside. Unless there's something on the fabricator module. What did you get? Oh, yeah, yeah okay. Um, mm -hmm. I answered my question as I was asking it. Oh, that's good. I don't even know what there would be on the outside of this. I'm not going to fix that, just in case we can't get this back. <laughs> I'm not going to waste my... 
welder fuel. Okay, you know what? What? I know what I'm going to check. I don't know if you checked it. What? I'm going to check the, the parts of the Kristen that we don't normally check. I already did that. Uh, so like the... I checked... The warp section and everything? Uh, that little panel that you're sitting in front of? I already opened yeah. that. Yeah. Right. Hate to say it. Mm. I didn't find anything in here. We only need one more. We need, yeah, exactly. We need two total. It's gotta be something. Yeah, unexpected. Completely missing it, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna go dig through stuff. Did you look at all the upgrades on the Kristen? I believe so. Okay. Um, yeah, unexpected inquisition. That's exactly what we're doing. Um, but or like that's our that's our backup plan is to commit suicide, respawn on the original base. Come on, stand up. Um, and then summon a ship and wait for it to arrive. And it's just it takes a lot of time and it's kind of cheaty. Like, I'm not thrilled with the idea. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything here that would have circuits on it at all. Not the welding tool, right? No. <sighs> okay. And you checked all the things that are, like, plugged into the engine and all that kind of stuff, right? <clears throat> Yeah, I want you to double check though. Maybe I'm just being stupid. It's possible. Okay. Catalyst tier two. No. I have a feeling that in order to recycle electronics out of something, you actually have to go to tier three level stuff. These are all tier ones. There's nothing in there. Um, I'm assuming carbon filters aren't going to have... Oh, hey, you know what I just realized? We well, can probably make carbon filters. Oh. <laughs> Since we're running great, low, we that'd have be air. great. Do you want to go? I tell you what, why don't you go do that? I'm going to do the suicide thing. Okay, drop so, your stuff. That's the plan. Okay, so here's this. There's an EM field controller, which you should probably plug into something. I don't know where they go, actually, to be honest. Oh. Yeah, I don't either. All right, this is where I start suffocating. Uh, oh, ah, painful. Take your suit off. Oh, you're right. There you go. Much obliged. Yeah, thanks. You should watch while I die. Yeah, let me put you out of your misery. Oh, there you go. Shoot me. Oh, <laughs> that was actually <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> It was just a oh. flash, and then it said, you're dead. All right. Um, um, I saved the picture. You just kind of fell, and you were like, yeah. I'll just... Face down. <laughs> Not even face down. You just, like, fell James Bond style, where you fall to your knees and fall over, but you oh, just nice. stuck at your knees. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I'm back on the outpost. All right, I'm going to put this stuff away. <laughs> and call reserve ship. That's what it is. Did it do a thing? <laughs> that was so good. Oh, like, I don't know. Go. I'm, st I'm still all laughing about it. What does that say? Re rescue ship. Call rescue ship. That's what it is. All right. Can you rescue? I didn't. I didn't say anything. <laughs> Why did I suffocate for a second before? Oh, before I grabbed my jetpack. Okay, that's what it was. I don't wait. Why am I? Why do I have a helmet on? This place is pressurized. <laughs> Silly me. I am going to turn on the lights though, so people can actually see what I'm doing. 
Oh, hey, you know how I said that we hadn't actually looked at the power supply module? Yeah. Th that's what we can do while waiting. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go do that. Oh, let's actually pressurize it. Pressurize main room and corridor A. You know, having that fabrication module is going to be really nice. I'm just realizing. Yeah, we can actually attach it um, off of the... Off of the power, power supply, supply module. module. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. All right. All right. I'm going to go out and see if I can build some carbon filters. Okay. Enjoy that. Air. We should end up... I should have a ship here in... Nine minutes. Um, come on. There we go. Ship is already called. Oh, okay. Never mind. Respawn ship takes uh, ten, 10 minutes, minutes total. Yeah. So you have ten minutes of goof around time. Showing, showing off that uh, that module. Yeah. It's, that module is so good. It's worth ten minutes. Ten, oh, totally footage. worth ten minutes of looking at. Yeah. I mean, look at this. <laughs> look at how amazing this is. Yeah. Look anyway, so let's go back. No. <laughs> um. So it's it's actually really neat. <laughs> Don't forget under the stairs. Oh, I'm going to show there. everything. I'll show everything. Okay. Trust me, I've got 10 minutes or <laughs> 8 minutes or whatever to show. So, um, so yeah, this is it. That's that's a that's a big um, piece of machinery right there. And then down there, there's some <laughs> bits and things. <laughs> it's the environmental <laughs> monitor. Shh. I'm doing it to her here. There, this is the environmental monitor. And, and it shows you your gravity. Um, whether it's on or off, the pressure, the air quality, and the temperature, and, and and the whole integrity. So, and then if I come over here, I can go down this uh, this ramp here, and over here, there's actually a button to turn on and off the artificial gravity. There's a distress call. Uh, this is the power supply, so you can actually turn on and off the fusion reactor from here. This is actually pretty cool. It's powered up. This is the most anticlimactic power-up sequence I've ever seen. Yeah? It's going to be even less anticlimactic. Hang on. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> it's going to be less anticlimactic than it was for you. Is it? Yeah, it, it's on yeah. now. I was hoping, I was actually kind of hoping that some light somewhere would turn green but it doesn't even do that. Hey, it's a core containment field generator. Hey, we don't have a... Oh, we do have a resource injector in this. Never mind. Okay. Um, oh, this thing is full, isn't it? We can't actually make carbon filters. You're kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Like, I've gone through this list like four times. Just like, of am I just not seeing it? What? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, what? I'm just going to read these out just to make <laughs> sure that I'm just not being stupid here. <laughs> Don't read them all. There's a lot there. <laughs> I trust you, but that that's like the most useful thing to fabricate and they you mm -hmm. can't fabricate it. Okay. We can make a drill. Cool, because we don't totally need more drills. Oh, I can see what we can actually make. I can tell what we can and can't make. Okay. Is this a thing? I'm kind of curious to see if this is a thing. We could make a fire extinguisher. Cool. <laughs> I have yet to that. even see a fire in this game. Oh, I've seen one or two. Yeah, I know. But I, they're always either out or I don't or know. There's I, no oxygen. Or there's no oxygen. Yeah. I just flew around without artificial gravity for a little bit, which was kind of fun. Ooh. There we go. It's back on again. Also, there are four. Count them: one, two, three, and four device chargers here. So if you need to charge your device, I don't. But if you do. That's that's where you can do it. Yep. Um. Did you actually what? tear apart the the jetpack to get the 
No, no, I did not. Why? Because I'm trying to figure out where it is. It's the special I don't one. See the circuit. Anyway. Um. Oh, I'm out of. I'm out of energy. That's not good. You should fix that. I'm going to do right now. Did you have your light on the whole time? Is that what was going on? Yeah, so I could see. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> okay. I heard that, by the way. Wait, wait, wait. You, you mean you heard this? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's my uh, pop filter hitting my mic happens sometimes. Yep. yep. Especially when you uh, smack into it. Yeah, when I'm scratching my chin. And then, <laughs> yeah, that happens. How much longer? <laughs> when was that, by the way? We had like this... This, we were having a conversation, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, like, this biggest noise happened. And it turned out to be that you smacked your, um, your microphone. Yeah, <laughs> this, that, like, just that a happens, jarring noise. like, regularly, honestly. <laughs> well, you know, what, what can you do? Yeah, I'm gonna charge this backpack. How much longer? When's well, the ship gonna be here? Look outside. It could always. Be, it could already be there. Do you think? Maybe. Okay. Um. Close in her door. Depressurize. Oh, actually. And then I should have hit the open outer door, but I didn't. Can do it there too. Well. I'm going to start turning things off so that we don't There are no ships well. out here. Oh. Off. You told me oh. to come outside and there's no ships out here. I, I said it could be out there. Well, but you were wrong. Well, I guess... Not wrong when I said it could be. I didn't say could, it was. Could be. Okay. I don't need my jetpack on right now. See, I have something to do. You do? Hang on. Is there a thing that tells me? No, there's nothing that tells me. How do I know when the ship's going to be here? There's nothing that tells you. You just have to go out and check. How long has it been, guys? I'm bored. <laughs> okay, Cosmic. Um, <laughs> To be perfectly honest, I don't like this basketball hoop. Why? Does it work? Not really, no. What? Lame. The basketball keeps going through the thing. Well, that's so what it's supposed to do. No, I mean, it goes through the solid backboard. Well, that's not acceptable. That's not what it's supposed to do. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm going back. I I, it, like... Does it tell you when the ship arrives, at least? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> oh, man. Uh... Well, you could click the call to, uh, the call for rescue ship, because if, uh, if it's there, it'll tell you that you can't have multiple. Uh, you, there's already a ship in range. Oh, that's true. Ship is already called, it says. Then it's just... Well, I'm going to go weld up this little bit of damage I saw over here. Oh, yeah, I haven't even filled up the rocket, by the way. Done. Oh, wait, I don't have to close them up. What am I doing? <laughs> We're not playing on a live server. No. By the way, for those who don't know, we are not playing on a live server. <laughs> on a public server. So it is just the two of us in the entire universe. Yep, which is not exactly realistic, but... That's okay. That also means we're not going to get ganked every 10 seconds. So someone says there's still hey. about two minutes left, apparently. There's a what? There's like a a laser mesh in the hoop. Yeah. Oh, that is cool. Yeah, looks pretty. I want to know what happens if you get it in there now. Like I'm trying to <laughs> put it in the basket by hitting it off the backboard, but it just goes through the backboard. I don't know how to do this. Like, how are you supposed to do this if it goes through the backboard? Does no one use the basketball on the dev team? Like, seriously. <laughs> you think they'd fix this by now. 
you know, there's a lot of things to fix. And the basketball may basketball. not be the most important thing. How is it not important? It's, it's not that it's not important. It's that it's not the most important. Ship is already uh, in range. I am going to go get a ship. It is the most important because it is something called... Um, morale. Oh, that's <laughs> is that so the... very far. <laughs> That took you a while. Yeah, I was trying to line up a shot and it failed miserably. Oh no! <laughs> I almost suffocated. All right. <laughs> you know, you may one. be the only person to almost suffocate while trying while to play basketball. Play basketball. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. You know what? I I am happy with that achievement. I wonder if jumping does anything. <laughs> Not really, no. It's called a jump shot. Well, it doesn't like... Ju yeah, because just going through... Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, I can just... I throw like a girl. Well, you are using a girl model. <laughs> this is true. So you're using a woman model. That's true. No. I Almost. Oops. I missed it. They should make a, they should make a soccer ball. Why? Because you can kick it around. <laughs> oh. I it's actually easier to, to kick around than to throw. Yeah, I, I accidentally, uh, I was trying to pick it up and I accidentally kept kicking it away from me. <laughs> like, it's easier to play soccer than it is basketball. Okay, I have a ship. I'm not in it yet, but Yay. I do have one. Well, get here so I can say, my hero. Please don't. <laughs> I totally will now. <laughs> very green in here. So are we going to do the same as last time? Bring everything over? <laughs> yeah. Alright. Is this going to be called uh, Zeno's Revenge 2 or something? <laughs> I don't know. We called the we last one Zeno's Revenge <laughs> because in our last uh, playthrough, I had a ship called Zeno. So... Yay, I'm on board. Life support. Unauthorized access. Okay. <laughs> think I need to claim this ship. What do you think? I think it's a good idea. We should call it Xeno's Retribution. <laughs> <laughs> just like every time we need a new ship, it's Xeno's Revenge, but it's just a different word for revenge. <laughs> Xeno's Fire. There we go. And I have to choose this. my own emblem. I like the Zockley one, at least until... I, like, send them an Epic Tech one. And Which, by the way, we're still... Well, he is still trying to get, like, the perfect emblem, which takes forever. <laughs> I already got it. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, oh, it's all pressurized in here. Why am I still wearing my helmet? And here we go. Power. <laughs> what? I, I threw the basketball, it ricocheted off of the backboard, landed near the wall, bounced, and landed perfectly on the shelf. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Too bad it didn't stay. It slowly fell off, but oh. still. Is there a welder anywhere on board these ships? Uh, There's a welder down below in the cargo bay underneath the, um, um, the drills. One always spawns there. Ha <laughs> ha! Yay! Okay. Good, because there's damage to this ship. And I would like it to not be damaged before I leave. You could just da uh, just damage. You could just fix the reactor core, because that's going to be the major thing that doesn't allow you to FTL. If you do that, you should be fine. You don't even need to repair the rest of it. Okay. Well, let's see if I got any fun toys. I did not get any fun toys. Okay, fine. All right. Nah, the the starting ship pretty much spawns the same exact thing every time. No. Oh. All right. Well, my air generator is damaged. Hang on. I better not use all my fuel on things like that. Um, the reactor's in good shape. Looks like the warp drive has an extra warp cell that has 30% in it. Uh, 
Okay, I think I can probably come back and... Yeah. Is everything in fairly good shape? 92%? Oh, come on. That yeah, gone in. <laughs> I'm still playing basketball. Well, you have nothing better to do, so. Yeah. All right. Navigation. Actually, let me go ahead and turn on <gasps> oh, my I got FTL. It in. Yay! FTL is turning on. Now. All right. Hey, um, hey, yeah. devs. If you watch this video at all, ever, um, you should put like if it goes in, you should put like little little confetti comes out of it or something. <laughs> <laughs> I totally got that in. <laughs> It'll make people feel better. It'll add to the. Actually, I wonder if I could. Oh, what the heck? Why is it taking so much fuel to get to where you are? Because you are on the stupidest elliptical orbit ever. Oh, also. Now you see why it took us so much fuel to get out here? It's the red part that it uses, right? Yes. Okay, it just defaulted me to a really dumb warp is all. I tried finagling it, and I still ended up using a whole bunch. Oh, it, still, it says speed too low. Yeah. Insufficient power... What? Okay, I gotta wait. You got to wait. I gotta wait. I gotta wait for it to get enough power. Hang on, let me go see if um, let me go see if the engine or the reactor thingy is actually reactoring the way I want it to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we're outputting. Okay, yeah, it's just filling up the capacitor. It's taking a while. You know. What? What do I know? We could take a trip <laughs> to... <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at the <laughs> comments. Silver Dreams says that I should name it Cosmos. Um, wait. Cosmic. Oh, I think you meant Cosmic. Name it Cosmic because you know it will get you killed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah, that's pretty accurate, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. Sorry, we should take a trip to where? We should take a trip to, um, like, the first chance we get take a trip to Broken Marble, the military sector, and go to the um, the station that always spawns there. Sounds like a great idea. Actually, Burner is really close. Burner is the civilian <laughs> sector, though. Why does it do this kind of thing? Every once in a while. So it's telling me that it defaults time to activation... It defaults time to activation to like seven hours or like hours and hours. Okay, okay. Cancel. Kristen's legacy. Warp two. There we go. Oh, yeah. By the way. Uh huh. The reason it's named Kristen's legacy is because the last episode of our previous um, series, the Kristen was bugged and. We ended up having to let her go. Yep. So, the sister ship. In memory of her. I'm trying to fill out the time that it takes you to get here. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Oh, man. I wish I understood this better. You made me waste a bullet. Um... What are you having trouble understanding? Maybe I can explain it. No, you can't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I mean, because it's not right. I mean, there's, sorry. There's no way I could explain to you what I'm looking at. There we oh. go. Okay. I guess so, it's... like, it's saying that I'm going to have to be in warp for, oh, wait, hang on, for, like, yeah, like 10 minutes. 
Um, it took us 10 minutes to get out here. Oh, okay. Well, let's do that then. The first time. Yeah. Uh, it's not that, uh, not that different from the start of the stream. Yep. I just need to aim this in the next 30 seconds and I'll be good. Ah, I went way past it. <laughs> Hold shift. Yeah. Good idea. Why is there a manhole cover on the top of the hallway? Why wouldn't there be? Good point. Can you get in there? No, it's like stuck there. Oh, and we are flying straight into the sun, of course. That's good. Uh. Oh. Be Beard? Sorry. Uh, how did you set up the server? Oh, um, it's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I am running it off of a, um, off of a virtual machine, but yeah, it's, there are instructions online. You should follow them. I don't even remember how I did it. That That's the answer. And it's, it's not super simple like a lot of others, but, um, yeah, there you go. I, I don't know. How's, is I don't know a good answer? I guess so. Okay, good. Because that's the best you're going to get from me. Okay, uh, I am on my way. I only used... Um, I only used, I think, about 30%. So... Okay, so we should have enough to get back then. Hopefully, yeah. And I'm thinking I mean, that we'll just empty this ship and abandon it. I don't even know why I bothered yeah. naming it and stuff. As a matter of fact... Don't don't unname it. Leave it named. It's a legacy. We have okay. to leave these strings of ships <laughs> <laughs> just floating derelict in space. I do, however, need to name it properly because I named it Xeno Fire instead of Xeno's Fire, which is uh, what. Um, <laughs> Silva Dream says uh, low O2 basketball, almost as fatal as high G basketball. <laughs> yep. Ooh, hey, you know what? What? I'm going to pull the carbon filters out of this thing. Please do. <laughs> oh, yay, I have carbon filters. I mean, who cares if the oxygen in this place is barely breathable? Let's see what else oh, I can get. <laughs> David Perry says, so, uh, what's playing on the in-flight movie? Um, nothing. <laughs> we don't have an in-flight uh, movie. Let's see. The in-flight movie today, ladies and gentlemen, will be the latest episode of Hellion. <laughs> there you go. With Epic and Kitten. Guest starring the Xeno's Revenge and the Xeno's Fire. Ooh, I wonder if we should, like... Huh. The only way to pull things out of the um, cargo, like... Like things like um, oxygen, nitrogen, and that kind of thing, is to actually dock these top to top, right? Oh, but I can. I could dock to the top of the Kristen, mm -hmm. and we could transfer. So we could pull everything out. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is clearly what we need to do. I think. I think I've just gotten everything out of the uh, cargo bay. I don't see anything else down here. Okay. And there were no upgrades in the engine. <coughs> oh, oh, wow. Wow. Excuse wow. Me. That was out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, bless you. Wow. That was that was quite a thing. Okay. To... Just out of nowhere. Just sure. There. Why not? I think it might be time for me to close my window. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, no, it's still kind of hot in here. No. Okay. Can I? No. So I'm going to have to have you grab a couple of items from here. Or I can just make two trips. But uh, If you make two trips, I can pull the um, pull the stuff out of it while you're doing that. 
pull the stuff. Wait. What? We can't pull the stuff out. Pull the stuff out? What stuff? Oh. The... Oh, you're right. We have no cargo management. Yes, we do. We have cargo management on the fabricator module. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so if I dock them... Um, yeah, I'll I'll go wait in the cargo... Uh, or the fabricator module. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think this stream's gonna have to go long. <laughs> oh, it's it's got to. I mean, to be honest, We're, we only two hours for Hellion. That's is the not thing long about long. Hellion is it's it is a slower game. You know, it's which I like. I I, and, I honestly do. And to be honest, with slow games like this, I don't think you're gonna get as tired as as normal because it's like it's not yeah. high octane content. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, unless you're barreling like five thousand meters a second towards a ship and you're like spamming the s key to try and slow down uh, yeah then it's high octane <laughs> or, or if you somehow manage to get yourself into a debris field and are trying <laughs> and not to be able to leave yeah that's that's <laughs> happened yep so have you ever uh, tried pulling the like the warp cell out while in warp not while in warp i know i'm not using that one so i'll take that one Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, this will be good. Um, I actually can bring everything. The only thing I can't bring, just with what I have in hand, is either a pressure suit or a helmet. Like, there's two those two items, and I can only carry one more of that kind of thing. Two minutes, 50 seconds, and then I will be there. I almost want to build a resource injector. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Ooh, you know what? Do we have a resource injector on the ship? We have one of our solar panels has a single catalyst. That is it. Okay. And there's nothing here. So we could yank that one catalyst, but that's about it. So there's a thing called 8.15-S. I have no idea what that is. I think it's ammo. Mm. I think it's 8.15 yeah, millimeter yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. So the, the S22 rapier takes 8.15 ammo. Got it. Okay. There you go. Then the 12.5 heal. Okay. Okay. I'm understanding how things work now. Cool. A flail anti-personnel grenade. Yes. Though, actually, I want an EM grenade. Those would be great for taking out turrets. Yep. You just slide it in. That's and what I'm then... talking about. By the way, we have 100 people watching the stream. Thank you guys very yes. much. If you haven't hit the thumbs down, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I appreciate you not hitting the thumbs down. Um, actually... If you... <laughs> your your usual suspect has once again thumbs down your video. Yeah, that one guy that follows me around and, and <laughs> thumbs downs every video I've done. So okay, just a quick backstory. It's probably not the same guy, but there's at least one thumbs down on every single one of Epic's videos, and it's kind of become like this <laughs> thing where if he doesn't get that one thumbs down, he feels like that guy just doesn't it's, like him anymore. <laughs> it's true. And I do like, I'm sitting here watching because I have nothing better to do. I'm sitting here watching the stats oh, up there. I, down. There are two more. So a few people, pre wow, I'm getting a lot of thumbs down now. Okay. I think that. See, a lot of people love it. <laughs> but a lot of people hit thumbs up too, which was nice. That was, I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's great. Awesome. I, anyway, don't I don't mind. I don't mind. It's funny the thumbs down button just keeps the number keeps going up and down as people are like just goofing around with it, turning it on and off again. <laughs> That's great. Thank you guys. I appreciate the laugh. I got to do something while I'm waiting in warp, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <gasps> what? What? My ship crashed. It says your <laughs> ship crashed. That's it. <laughs> No, no explanation, no did, did reasoning. Your, did your path intersect um, 
a stellar body at all. It, maybe. Well, there you go. You're like, hey, I'm going to FTL into the stellar body because oh, I'm geez. smart. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. So, another ten minutes. <laughs> um, I want to see this. I want to see if I can see what you crashed into. I think I think that that's exactly what happened. I didn't think about it. I was, I was so focused on. So why is it that sometimes it says course impossible, but that but the course impossibles. The cor- course impossible doesn't come up when you're going through a planet. It just comes up randomly. I don't. I don't understand. Yeah, I am tempted it, to do fresh start and grab a ship from there, though. That might be a good idea. Are you sure you want to start a new game? Current progress will be lost. Hmm. You sure about that? I'm gonna do it. I mean, I'm. Still I don't know here. what that means. You're still there, exactly. That. Yeah. It what? means you can. You know, you start on a new station. Right. Everything you had is no longer there. Well, except it is. Well, it is. Because it's yours, too. It's not owned by you. (laughs) So because I'm there, I can go there. Yeah. Well, hey, this works out fine. I'm going to grab a welding tool. Oh, actually, I'm going to put the welding tool back. See? See? Silva Dreams. Perfect. Uh, They figured out why the ship exploded. Why is that? Too many thumbs down and the ship imploded. That's... (laughs) Probably it, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that makes oh sense. I almost forgot. Okay, I got to show you guys this. If, if you watch my recordings, you'll know this. Uh, but if you haven't seen this before, you see this panel right here. That just just this wall, this plain wall. Just 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 remember that wall. I'm gonna go back, get back in the cryopod here real quick. It's a really beautiful wall. It is a beautiful wall. Yeah. I like the neon lights. Uh, it. it the, the, yes, I agree. Okay, take your time with the animation and all. I'm going to press this random button up here that doesn't do anything, and then I'm going to get back out of the cryopod. It's if you, it's like, um, yeah. Hey, look at that. This wall is no longer a wall. <laughs> um, I'm also going to grab a helmet because I can't actually see anything there we go um, oops and this is interesting that. there we go and now we get to find out if we won any prizes no you did not um oh no i did got a server motor Ooh. that's all anything in here nothing in there anything else cuz there is some randomness to this area right yeah yeah, it's um, all the parts that you find in the boxes are random. Okay. Uh, let me double check. I don't think I missed anything else. There does not appear to be anything else in here. Okay, that was incredibly boring. Oh, wow. Start. What? Okay, so uh, we're getting comments in the, the chat. I think it's like one person. I'd have to check again. Uh, but your game says you're playing Star Citizen, and not Hellion. Um, on my screen, my game says I'm playing Minecraft, and I <laughs> saw that. Hang on, no, this is a thing. Hey, you just, you just listen to this insanity. So, when I started up the stream last week, I we did um, Minecraft. So I started everything up, and I saw, oh, I haven't changed that yet. So I changed it to. Hellion, but Hellion isn't a recognized game by uh, Google. So, that means that it didn't know what it was, and it does weird things. It'll pick, like, other games and that sort of thing. So, I'm like, okay, so, never mind. I'm not going to do Hellion. I'm just going to set it to blank. That didn't work. It still, then it went, it was, it was Minecraft, and I'm refreshing the page. I'm trying all these different things. Like, I can't get it to do any of the things that I want it to do. <laughs> like, it's just obnoxious. Um, so, uh, um, 
so what was I gonna say? Um, I'm I have to go outside now, so I'm gonna do that. There we go. So that's when I'm like, okay, what's going on? So I changed it to say space engineers. Well, it actually changed to space engineers. So I changed it back to blank. And when I changed it to blank, it switched back to Minecraft. So I just went in and changed it to Hellion again. And it stayed at Minecraft. And then I'm just like, I don't care anymore. Well, apparently Google says, hey, that looks like Star Citizen. <laughs> apparently. I, I think it's just kind of randomly choosing games at this point. Maybe because somebody said Star Citizen in the chat comments. I never typed in Star Citizen, that's for sure. Yeah, someone did type in Star Citizen in the, in the comments. Yeah, but I also have Hellion. Well, it doesn't know what Hellion is, so who knows? I mean, it's possible. That I, I, I feel like that wouldn't... Would that affect anything? I don't no. know. It shouldn't. It certainly shouldn't. I mean, this is Google, though. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. I mean, if I'm being honest, this is Google. If you're being Ooh, honest. This? I'm. Oh, a place for a poster. Yes, but we don't have any posters anymore. Yeah, you usually start with a poster, but you yeah. don't anymore. Makes me sad. So I'm at the derelict, by the way. I'm just randomly grabbing a few items and then I'm going to head over to the ship and see what I can do. You know what I want? What do you want? I want some cross promotion. For what? For Subnautica and Hellion. <laughs> That's a weird combination. No, I guess it's really not, is it? No, they're both space games. Kind of. I mean, you're on a weird planet from space. Yeah, Hell so maybe maybe it's one of Hellion's <laughs> planets. Yeah, maybe. But I think it'd be really cool, you know, like just Why am I not get finding like a, this? Get like posters and stuff that you can just put up. That'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. Okay. I'm not even gonna bother with anything here. I grabbed a bunch of stuff. I'm not oh. gonna what? <laughs> so someone said so. We're playing Star Hellion Minecraft Citizen. Uh, with a little bit of space engineers in there. Yep. Star yeah. Star it's 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 Starcraft um Hellion Engineers. Yep. Where do you get craft from? Minecraft. Oh yes, you're right. Although Starcraft is a real game, so it probably would pick that one up. Oh yeah, well. <laughs> I'm not gonna actually type that in anywhere. Star engineer craft <laughs> something, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to try and do this again. <laughs> Silva Dream says, man, look how deep this ocean is in the new Subnautica map. It looks like we're swimming in space. <laughs> Yeez. The jokes are great. I love the community. Oh, uh, Mr. Fonts says, uh, everyone start spamming, spamming a random game in chat. Hopefully it changes. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly it changes like something completely random <laughs> like except i think you actually have to reload the page and stuff i don't know i'm just waiting for it oh, to change wow. to something completely totally random that would never be on your channel <laughs> oh like some like 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 one of those anime games or something <laughs> or like, like the latest tycoon game it was like there you go porn studio tycoon or something oh jeez <laughs> Family friendly, man. I guess that was kind of the point, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> the point was something not family friendly, and it would yes. be hilarious. Oh, right. I have to claim this ship now. How many Xenos are going to be floating around? <laughs> I am going to say that the final tally will end up being somewhere in the vicinity of, I'd say, 20 Xenos. Before something happens and we have to either restart or... Like an update comes out or something. There. Okay. Maybe we should take bets on <laughs> on how many Xenos there will be by the end of the series. Oh my word. <laughs> Let's not. <laughs> this is almost like 
A oh, there's a fire in the cop in the cargo bay. Oh, go check it out. That I'm going to. Seen the fire. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to show a trick too. In before you uh, see that fire right there. there. Actually, first I'm going to grab. Oh, there's no fire extinguisher on board. <laughs> I was okay. just going to say in before there's no fire extinguisher. <laughs> Um, actually, hang on. Oh, let me go back down. Because we're going to do a thing. I'm going to close this door. I'm gonna go up. Actually, I didn't really need to close the door because I'm going to need to depressurize all the things. So you can actually, we're going to actually watch the fire as it loses oxygen. It takes a while to depressurize the cargo bay. Uh, Silva Dream says, um, wait, hold on. I lost it there for a second. Give me a second. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's Commander Wolfie. Uh, depressurizing time has been nerfed like 10 times or something. Yeah, it has. Yeah. Um. Oh, I got knocked down. I forced the door open. Oh, why didn't you just... Okay. I could have waited, but... Oh, why is that open? Oh, I didn't realize that was the outer door. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. That is not what I wanted. I wanted that. We're going to fix this. Um, oh, no. Is there another one? Oh, good. There's another welding tool here. <laughs> <laughs> Alistair Gaming says, Mine citizen sub hellion engineer. Uh, of sorry, the year edition. Engineer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, that's great. That is that is definitely the name of this game that we're playing. Yeah. Okay, that's not what I wanted. I want it, this. It's definitely not uh, Peach Beach Splash. <laughs> it sounds like a Mario game. I don't think that's a thing. Did you know that they actually made a Peach game? I didn't. It was the worst game that they ever made. <laughs> All right. I don't need the extra. Hang on. Toss that. All right. We're getting out of here. We're heading. We're good. 100% whole integrity. I'm happy. Nice. Okay. FTL. Turn on. Oh. Take off my helmet, too. Um, navigation. Authorized vessels. Kristen's legacy. Oh, Commander what? Wolfie says, okay, so welding makes it look like it's growing. Or sorry, yeah, that it's growing over the damage, like the ship's organic or something. A little bit, yeah. yeah. I kind of like it. I, I do too. Cool. I mean, we're in the what? Super, super far in the future. So it's like, maybe. So insufficient power. Dang it. I have to wait for the stupid capacitors to charge. How long is that going to be? Oh, good grief. Okay, everything's <laughs> online. No sun exposure. Okay, that'll help. Got to rotate this thing toward the sun. All right, where's the sun? Where's the sun, man? Where's the sun? You have to tell me where the sun is. Uh, I don't know. I'm in the fabrication module waiting for you to dock. We don't have a sun. Um, we could adopt one if you really want one. No, I already have. <laughs> I already have too many of those. What? Well, you're the one saying you didn't have one. You're a bad father, then. <laughs> Not that sun. Oh, we'll specify next time. We are on the opposite. Okay, I'm on the opposite side of the planet from the sun. I just realized. 
Well, that would be why you crashed then. Oh. You probably smacked into the sun. Good job. I didn't. I can't. I, are you suggesting I broke the sun? <laughs> Is that I'm what you're suggesting, saying? I am suggesting that maybe, just perhaps, you smacked into the sun simulator and broke it. Okay. I'm shutting down FTL because that uses power even when you're not, like, actively using it. And I actually picked up some upgrades. I have two catalysts. That'll help. Okay, I'm looking for you. Could you add me to the ship's crew? Then I'll be able to find you probably. Yes, I will do that in a minute. Oh, now I have sun exposure. Weird. Okay, well, this is going a lot faster. Where's the... There it is. Add crew member. Okay, you are added to the crew. Okay, give me a second. I need to... <sighs> Pop some air. I'm going to grab some carbon filters again. <laughs> hey, all the carbon filters we can get, dude. I agree. Well, like... I mean, I, I only have two because the other one's burned up in the sun when I slammed into it, so... Oh, right. Yeah. All right, let's see if I can go anywhere now. Oh, I see you. Okay. At least this time, it's not going to take as much um, as much fuel because I'm not as far away. Yep. Okay. Should we? No. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, should we like... Oh, yeah, you're not nearly as far away. You are on the other side of the planet, though. Okay. So you're what you're saying is... Ouch. You might have to make two jumps. Okay. Well, let me see. Unless you want to just, like, wait the time to go around Bethir. I don't understand what's happening... Oh, I'm at an. I see what you're saying. I'm actually at another planet. Okay. Well, no, you're at Beth. You're the starter planet. Right. I didn't realize that we were at two different planets. Okay. My ship. So I'm gonna go jump over to like this automated refinery right here. Yeah, you're also on like yeah yeah yeah. If you jump there and then immediately jump to me. Yeah. Or if you jump there, check to see if they have fuel because they sometimes have fuel there. That's where we found it last season. Oh. And then jump over to me, and you should be fine. But remember, that's in the debris field, and it looks like it's coming out of it, so. Yeah. Take that as you will. Where am I? What the heck? You're on the dark side of Bethir. Though you are starting to breach the light. Come to the light, my friend. I'm going to try and pressurize. That's going to put me that's that my entire travel will be in the um You know what? I'm going to do a quick scan. See if there's anything else around. Because I don't like that path. That's like the entire thing is in the debris field. I'm going to be warping through a debris field the entire time. Hmm. Hang on, there's a derelict up there that may or may not give me a good no it's not going to give me a better jump position i i'm tempted to go out to one of these asteroids actually you know what that's not a bad idea it's a tiny amount of fuel okay ah Okay, now it's saying the FTL is offline. <laughs> so I better turn it on. Okay, we've got full sun exposure, so I'm just going to... You're just going to hang out. Yeah, I'm going to set could this do down a, over here. Could do a custom orbit, too. Turn on the lights. Wait, are you at the broken marble? 
No, you're at Everest. Yeah, Everest Station. Okay. Okay, so I've pressurized the main deck of the ship, taking a little bit of a break from using the... Uh... Okay. Ugh. Yeah, that's going to go through no matter what I do. Okay. I really like this this game and this update. Like, I don't know. I'm still like, oh, this update changes so much. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool. I'm already in the warp, in the debris field. Um. Oh, okay. That's fine. It's all good. I'm going to skirt the planet, but I'm not going to hit it. Okay. 15 seconds. I was able to turn on the air filter for a little bit uh, to bring the air up to a, a good enough quality to breathe. So, we're good here. For a little bit anyway. All right, in three minutes, I will be at that, um, whatchamacallit, the automated refinery. Awesome. Uh, there you can check for fuel. Yes, and if I find fuel, that'd be great. Air pressure is dropping. I mean, I did remove the carbon filters. <laughs> Oh, and, okay, I can power up the both of these. I would vent atmosphere from the cargo bay, and... I can at least depressurize it. Yeah. And at least... Mm, I was going to say the main deck and the bridge. Nah. I'm going to do... I'm going to go ahead and, and depressurize the airlock, but... Don't depressurize it yet, because you're pressurized. What? You're in a pressurized area, and you need to get inside oh. of it to open it. Oh, wait it. a minute. Hang on, hang on. Also, I just realized that this door is... Come on, close it up. Thank you. I was depressurizing the room I was in by accident. Yeah, I know, I know. You're fine. Pressurize these. Oh, fine. I'll... Put on my helmet. It's not that bad. Um, John Dembrek? Sorry if I said that wrong. Uh, it says, I've tried so many times to play this game, but something bad always happens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Hellion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Honestly. It, I, I was waiting. It, <laughs> it's just, that's, that's what, that's just what Hellion is. It's, it's a bad thing simulator. It's. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, but it's guaranteed. It's, it's guaranteed. Yeah, like it's it's basically a true survival game. So many bad things are stacked against you. Sometimes oh yeah, it's just ridiculous, and you have to try and survive. It's but it but when you do survive, it is so rewarding. It is absolutely <laughs> true. I love this game. I don't know why. I, I really don't know why I love this game so much. But I do. I, honestly, I'm in the same boat. I don't know why I like it. And I I have game ADD. And I'm still playing this game. <laughs> so there's something about it that draws me back to it. It's weird. I don't know why. Oh. Did you make sure? <laughs> did you make sure your um, warp isn't going to smack the planet? Yes. Okay. This time. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's see what's around. Okay, the auto made refinery is like right next to me. 
Yes, this should look familiar to anyone who's seen our previous videos. Oh, yeah. I recognize this, I think. Mm -hmm. There you is should. some we randomization to it, like... to it right? <gasps> coconut! Coconut slides into the chat. Hi, Coconut. Yay! Hi, Coconut. She's like, I made it! Finally! <laughs> Yay! I feel bad for you because you only made it finally because we're playing Hellion and it's going to take a little bit longer than normal. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Match speed. Okay. I'm going to hop out, go see if I can find some fuel. Oh, you know what? I just realized I'm carrying a whole bunch of stuff heading over to a place where I want to pick up a bunch of stuff. She says, sorry for being non-existent. We are going to forgive you this time. But yes, the next time you, happen again. The next time you stop existing, I don't know what I can do about it. <laughs> the, ne the next time you stop existing, you'll be non-existent to me. <laughs> Something like that. Okay. Uh, also, I've been told to check for hole damage, but it said like 99% the last time I looked. Whoa. Every once in a while, <laughs> the inside and the outside don't sink properly, and you end up kind of getting thrown. Okay. It's all good. Let's go check this place out. Oh, hey. Guess what works better? Jetpacks work a lot better when they're on. Now I'm sad. You're sad that jetpacks only work when they're on? No, what Coconut said. What did Coconut say? So she said life took a very decided bad turn in February. So she kind of pulled away from all but digging out of her depression. Now, oh. her uncle died in a head on collision. Oh, no. Yeah. But now she's here and hugging everyone. Yay. Hugs for coconuts. Yay. Hug, hug. Here. I will do. Ah, uh, I think I'm going to hug the floor. Oh, no, I'm okay. All right. There you go. I Lights. gave hugs for Coco. Yay. <laughs> All right, nothing in that box. I think I speak Ooh. for the whole community when we say, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> I always like making people feel better. I don't know. Oh, that's right. You can't steal things out of these places. I can't take their no. um I was going to take their uh carbon filters. <laughs> I'm gonna take that. All right. Ooh. Resource canister. I really shouldn't be trying to grab everything because I know that it's several trips worth, but worst case scenario, I have to drop stuff and at least look at all dropped in the same place. That's I've, true. I found a pistol. Ooh, nice. Too bad we don't need it. Yeah, I know. Although I would like it personally. Just to shoot me in the face the next time I need to commit suicide and get another ship. <laughs> I, I I have to I have normally I wouldn't like mention this comment but I have to because I think we should address it again. Um, so Dramanator says oh, I know it's a dumb question but what is the password for your Hellion server? <laughs> um, it is one two three four five six. <laughs> one two three four five six. Wow, that sounds like something an idiot would have on his luggage. <laughs> I don't remember the next line. Uh, good movie, though. <laughs> Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Amazing. I have the same combination on my luggage. <laughs> there, that's what it is. <laughs> I love that movie. It's such a horrible movie. <laughs> Horribly amazing. good. All right. No, what was horrible about the movie was that my sister and I, when we were younger, could recite the whole movie and on long Jeez. car trips we did oh no <laughs> it drove our parents insane to the point that maddie literally took the um the v uh, the vhs and threw it outside and destroyed it <laughs> later 
a few years later, um, she bought the DVD for me. Uh, and then it happened again. And she threw the DVD as hard as she could, yelling, <laughs> oh, look, a Frisbee! <laughs> oh, man. So we have a bad, like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, oh yeah, there I'm were like no... four different things for warp cells, and none of them had warp cells in them. So I'm gonna go check the other corner of this place. Bring them anyway. And bring what anyway? The warp. Cells? Oh, oh no, no no okay sorry. There's a warp cell on the ground right here. Oh nice. It has twenty four percent. That's good for one trip. Okay. Am I going back to where I came from? Yes, I am. Okay. So I need to go back the other way. Because I think this is a T. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is the way I want to go. Anything in here? <laughs> David Perry says, wait, how did you know my combination? Now I have to change it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, not a lot. Oh, another warp cell. Yay. 28 and 24%. I can live with nice. that. Nice. Yeah, that'll help us, definitely. Yep. Okay, I'm going to see... Oh, ammo. I guess it was worth going. I guess so. Um, get out of here. Checked the power supply unit as well, or power supply module as well. Uh, okay. I don't know if it'll have anything, but you you won't know until you try. Yeah, I'm going to just open all the boxes, get as many things as I can. Sorry, the what? What am I checking? The power supply module. The station has one. Oh, it does? Is it through here? Yep. <clears throat> I think it's through one of the spots. Oh, that, that goes to the outside. That is not the way it goes. Are I'm you sure it has sure power? It you, you might be wrong about that. I might be. Well, okay. Hey, you know those, you know how sometimes when I play single player games and you like just moderate chat and, and like, and I play the game and you basically just watch and. That's what I'm doing right yeah, now. Yeah, that's basically what you're doing right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't have room for anything. Okay. Um. Uh, Deraminate. Sorry, the Deraminator uh, says, "I have no Steam friends who play Hellion, so it's always me by myself. You know, it would be a great idea to join the uh, Epic Tech Community Discord. Someone might be playing Hellion. Uh, that too. <laughs> that is absolutely true. Okay, I'm gonna toss that thing, and I'm gonna pick up the. Wait, where'd it go? What? Oh, I did get it. That's not what I wanted to do. Well, that was nitro. I don't need nitro. Okay, picking that up. What? What's in this one? Hydrogen. Yay, that's actually useful. All right, I'm going to head back over here. And so where did you say that this power supply module thing is? How do you get to it? Uh, I thought it was... Hmm. I thought it was on the other side of the, um... Cargos. I'm not seeing it. It's possible I'm thinking of the other station. I think the you're thinking of the other one, because yeah, I'm not seeing anything there. Everest. Yeah, the one that's around Everest Station, I'm probably... Oh, okay. I'm not sure how much I should... Um, I should strip from this thing. Uh, the ship? Yeah, like, should I go and get everything? Oh, no, because we already have almost a full cargo bay on the crystal. Okay. It's it's not one. <laughs> to yeah. be perfectly honest. <laughs> I, I, I I think I agree. I'm going to grab what I can, but then I'm going to bounce around in the 
stupid airlock, and there we go. Close. David Perry says, link is in the description for the Epic Tech Discord server. That's yes, true. Yes, it is. Also, the link to Epic's Patreon is in the description. It below. is indeed. And if um, if you join the Patreon at uh, the engineer level or above, you can join us on any of the servers that we have running, which are private servers. That's not the button I wanted to use. And as it turns out, um, I'm thinking about adding a, a Hellion one. And if you specifically want a Hellion one, I'll fire it up just for you. I mean, I think a few other people would join too. <laughs> I think for sure that would happen, but... I know I would join. Yeah, I, I would do. <laughs> I, I mean, I almost would say if we set up a server, I wouldn't mind next season going on the server and interacting with the patrons. I think that would be fun. Okay, so that's where I'm headed. Speed too low. I think I need to... Oh, that's right. It's going to take several minutes to get there. Insufficient fuel. No, there's not. There we go. Oh, nice. I'm going. At least I think I am. Well, it'll take you a minute or so. I am going to grab a piece of bread. <laughs> I'm a little bit hungry. Oh, yeah, I'm getting hungry, too, but I can wait. I'm just going to grab a snack. I'm going to wait 10 seconds and then hit J, uh, 15, something like that. You know, it'll take you 10 minutes. You could get something to snack on during that time. That's true. Yeah. I mean, you I can also just hang here and anyway. chat with people. I think that That's could be true. fun. Oh, and Crazy Snake. Yes, we know we're over. Um, we're going a little bit long today because... Well, this is just kind of a slower game, so I don't know. Kind of just needs to go longer. Eight minutes and 50 seconds. That's how long it takes to get there. I'm going to go load in warp fuel. Oh, you know what? I never even looked in here. I'll bet there's warp fuel in here. Why, by golly, there is 24, 28, and 30. Why would I put those in there? I'm not going to put those in there. That doesn't make any sense. Why am I putting it in there? That doesn't make any sense either. I don't know what things I'm doing. You know what? I have to find out. I'm pulling this warp cell. I think it takes all of the fuel necessary for a warp before it starts warp. Because it seems to be doing just fine without any warp cells. Alright. How's life support doing? We're at 98%. We're good. I'm going to shut these down. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. Alright. Maybe I should take this stuff down to the cargo bay. I think people are having a problem with uh, my stuff just laying around on the ground. So I have a problem with your stuff laying around on the ground. Yeah, well, I don't blame you. You're so unorganized. <laughs> it is true. That is not true at all. <laughs> <laughs> You're the most organized person ever. <laughs> no, that is very, very not true, actually. <laughs> okay, you're more organized than I am, then, at least. Well, that's not hard. We have um, a plus one watcher. A plus one watcher? What does that mean? Mm -hmm. Maddie's watching the stream now. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Maddie. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um, I'm sorry I forced you to watch such bad content. <laughs> I have Pringles. <laughs> She just yelled to me, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, she said funny. <laughs> <laughs> love you. <laughs> Would you like a Pringle? Oh, I love Pringles. Mm. I'm just going to chew into the microphone. 
Oh, I'm sure they won't mind. <laughs> no, I'm sure they will, and I'm gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> I know I don't mind, but. Oh, All right. I my favorite chip. I was gonna say chip, then I was like, well, the English. I've been talking to some of the patrons, and a lot of them are English, so they've been rubbing off on me. So. So French fries. fries. Oh, okay. <laughs> French fry, I love it. Um, Whoa! <laughs> well, that was cool. What? A resource canister, canister just went flinging. Oh, <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> just curious to see if there's anything in these. Um, nope. Oh, yeah. What were you saying? I don't know. What were you saying? <laughs> I, I want you to read the chat. Okay. Um. So how how did you guys get your own server and how much? Oh, I'm. No, I was referring below that. Oh, sign of a good YouTuber eating crisps below on street. Okay. Can I have a Pringle Boys? They're my fave. Is that the one? Uh huh. Yes. Yes, you can. Here you go. I'll cram it through is. the microphone, and you'll be able to. Oh, man, that's a mess. It's everywhere. <laughs> but do you know who that is? Huh? Uh, no. That's Maddie. Oh, it is. I was like, <laughs> I know that name, sort of. <laughs> I know that name from somewhere. <laughs> right, moving on. Sorry, you made guys. me make a mess. Some oh, my gosh. It's all over my, my pop shield and... <laughs> Okay. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Moving it, on. Why Why did I cram um, a uh, Pringle into my pop shield? I, <laughs> this is the kind of thing I do. Right. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the random native. Uh, so, how did you guys get your own server and how much? Uh, it's free because Epic has a... Uh, his own in-house servers that he uses that he doesn't actually use because he doesn't have things to use them for. So we're using it for Hellion. Yeah, I because I'm kind of crazy. I used to be an IT guy, and and so I have like a full-on like blade server in my <laughs> in the crawl space under my garage or under not my, under my garage, but under my. It's a little. I can't explain it. It's this little room that I have and I installed a server there and it's where I host all of my um, all of my files the massive quantities of files that that just fell through anyway um, that I create when I'm recording videos like terabytes yeah. of files <laughs> Let's let's explain that a little bit because I'm sure people would love to to know this. No, they wouldn't. I think they would. Yeah, Where did that would. come from? Where did what come from? The um the resource can. I don't know. <laughs> I think it was stuck in the elevator somewhere. Anyway, what am I explaining? Uh, the the reason why you have like terabytes of information of your recordings. Because I make videos for YouTube. And you back up those videos. Oh yeah, I keep all of them. I keep it. I'm a, I'm a total data pack rat. Like, I... No, let me let me clarify a little bit, <laughs> if you don't mind what? me clarifying. You clarify. Clarify away. So, each video has a folder with everything needed for the video. Yes. Okay, makes sense. Of course. So he has a backup of that. Yeah. That makes sense. He has a backup of that too, and well, I think a backup of. of that as well. <laughs> no, no, I only have one backup. I have well, okay. I have it's yeah. No, it's not exactly like that. It's a it's a NAS. It, it, for those who know what it is, it's um it's called a NAS, a network attached storage device, and um and yeah. And I keep my all of the videos, and it's like I generate. I think I once calculated, what was it twenty five gigabytes of 
I think it's 25 gigabytes an episode, so it's like 100 gigs a week. Is that right? No, that that's can't be right. No, that's not right. It's 6 gigs an episode. I don't know. A lot. It's a lot. That's all it is. I can't The point remember. is, it's a lot of gigs for yeah. a single episode. And so I have That's to, like... That's including the backups. I have... Right now, I have about four terabytes of raw video plus rendered video plus, like... I also back up every save game for every video, so I can... That makes sense. <laughs> so I can revert to the save from the video. Um... And That's especially become helpful in Space Engineers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's pretty handy. Okay, almost there, man. Four, three, right. two, one. I believe we have arrived. Oh! Lag. Okay. I'm waiting for you to save me. I'm waiting to see what's in the area. There you are. I think, where are you? Up here. Uh, Tribbles the Unfortunate. Well, that's an unfortunate name. Uh, <laughs> evening, Epic. Good to see you. <laughs> Just saw you, uh, saw you were alert for live video. That's sad because... Um, what is the deal YouTube with that? <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey, your favorite YouTuber just started recording only three hours or, or started streaming only three hours ago. Uh, yeah. And Actually, it's and been it's over. <laughs> two hours and 15 minutes ago is when I started. <laughs> I just don't know why they do that. I don't they either. To... Oh, you know what? I should stuff. probably not slam into you. That would be helpful. Thirty I'm meters not in a the second. Cockpit, by the way, this it's is okay. All I'm, 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 I'm dodging it. I'm dodging it. It's okay. all good. This is all you. Oh, that's not good. Oh, it is foggy in here <laughs> like crazy. Oh my goodness! I am making an absolute mess of this. This is hilarious. Hilariously bad. Okay. Yeah. All Let's right. Go. I'm almost. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> I'm not a bad pilot. Sometimes. The emphasis on some. Yeah. Another emphasis on time. Are we gonna bat? Are we gonna bother to dock to yes. each other? Okay. Because we can rip out the fuel and stuff. Okay. I'm heading over to the module now. Look at that, guys. 30 minutes and finally getting content. <laughs> There's been content. Yeah. Why can't I match speed you with you yet? You have there to be we go. going. Got okay. it. I'm matched. Okay. So that's not the one I want. Okay. <laughs> Where's the dock? There it is. And I want not grapple. I want docking port A. I want Kristen's legacy and let's aim up. There it is. All right. So we're going to go this way. And then. <laughs> okay. I, okay. Tribbles the Unfortunate says, Hi, Kitten. I got this name from Medieval Engineers when I sieged with other players. However, they thought it would be fun to attach me to a trebuchet. I can say going 50 miles per hour into a castle is not fun. <laughs> oh, it sounds amazing. <laughs> it does. I think you've tried something similar, haven't you? Probably. I've tried lots of things. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was on the... Um, the... Hey, uh, any chance you can screen. see um, what I'm doing? I, can, I mean... Like, I just realized I don't know which way's up. <laughs> you are completely overshadowing me. Hi. Um, you need to turn to your... Well, I know this. No. Do I need to rotate 180 or do I need to just... 90. 90. Yep, 90. You're almost all set up. Oh, okay. So you're yep, saying perfect. like this? Yes. Okay. In that case, no problem. I got this. 
Uh, I'm good. Don't worry. This is easy now. Wait. What? What are you waiting? Oh, crap. I'm out of energy. Uh, you might need to go 180. Oh. From your current position. Yep, you're right. I could do that. I am out of energy. Well, that's not a big deal. Except I can't see when I'm... Uh, well, you're not going to die right. from it. No, I'm not going to die instantly. Just if I start choking, slowly. I'll just pop a canister. But why would you start choking? If I'm running out of air. Oh, oh! you can't tell whether you're running out of air because yes. you have no HUD because you have no energy. Got it. Yes. I like that feature. <laughs> That's ve Yeah, it's very cool. I actually thought I had accidentally turned off my HUD one time. We are docked, man. All right. That means I am going to start ripping things out of you. That sounds good. I made the mistake of putting everything down in the cargo bay, <laughs> which didn't make which made a lot of sense when I originally thought we would just go through the cargo bays, but then I realized that we're going to do the whole docking, like, transfer thing. So you're going to transfer everything, um, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, whoops. Let's put you over here. Okay, put that there. No, not that. That and that. No. I think I'm pretty fullish. Okay. I'll take this. Oh, whoops. What? I accidentally put them in the wrong spots. Why would you do that? Because I'm a silly goose. That's okay. Whack. Um, should I start? I'm just going to dump things on the ground here, guys. I know for those who are very picky about that kind of thing, it's going to drive you nuts. And I'm sorry, but it's going to be a lot faster than going down the elevator. And it's only temporary. And it's only temporary. Trust me, I can't handle leaving it that way either. It's just going to take forever to do it otherwise. Oh, by the way, carbon filters. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's funny that you choke between, um, between ships. Hmm. I don't understand that one. I, well, I mean, I do. It's just for a second it thinks you're outside, basically. Oh, well, yeah, okay. All right, I ripped everything out of the Xeno. Okay. Which is good to free float. I almost want to say we can just straight up self-destructor, too. I don't think we can self-destructor. Yeah, we can. Why not? I don't think that we have the... Um, don't you need a thing for that? Well, let's try it. I think we should try it. But I think we I mean, don't do it right now. <laughs> no, of course not. But I think that there's actually a thing you need. You're talking about the cell detonator? Yeah. No, that's for better warp. Okay. I'll trust Could you. Could you open the bay for the crystal? Yes, I can. Much obliged. Um, can you Wait, are you talking about the docking bay up front? Yeah. Why are there things dropping around? <laughs> I've put too much. Okay, well, if I'm going to go downstairs, I'm going to take as much as I can. Oh, boy. Making a mess of things. All right. Oh. You... Well, I have to pressurize it or something. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Oh, 
Yeah. No, wait. If I pressurize, no, that means I have to depressurize up here. Okay. I was trying to conserve air because yeah. I didn't know how long you were going to take. No, it's a good thing. It's just that it means that I need to do some things. So I have to close this door. That door is already closed. Drop that so I can use a touch panel. Uh, Kristen's Legacy main deck depressurize. That's what I want. And then now I can pick this up and go downstairs. And I like that like you can press buttons with like your elbow or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know how one would do that, but um but I mean like you could you can press buttons with things in your hands, but you can't use a full on touch screen. Are you just gonna be doing stuff there? Is that what you're doing? I just need to come in, maybe change out my backpack to refuel. Okay, but are you going back out? Right? I don't need to, but if you want me to, I can. No. If you're not going to, then I'll let you... Why don't you close the door, and we'll repressurize in here. Okay. I'll repressurize. Okay. I'll let you do that. Okay. I will let you go out first. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And then main deck pressurize. And the bridge. Why was the bridge not pressurized? Conserving ox oxygen, remember? Oh, okay. Fair enough. All right. All I don't right. know why. There's so much little minutia in this game of, you know, minutia? making sure. Yeah, like little things. Oh, jeez. Like falling down if you're not aimed right <laughs> coming into gravity uh, and having to close doors and open doors and all that kind of thing uh, oh by the way you were gone when I removed all the warp cells while we were in warp and wait, it wait, when you so while you went to go get food I actually went down into my warp room and removed all the warp cells oh okay just so you know it's it's a doable thing Okay, good. I, I didn't good. drop the stuff while I was there. Silly me. Refill this for energy. I'm gonna come back up. Uh. <laughs> oh, I'm making a mess of things now. Okay. Hey, what's new? Here, have a pack. Are you cleaning things up in here? I am. Good. Thank you. Welcome. I appreciate that. In that case, I'm just going to dump things and go get more. <laughs> you can enjoy the little stack I made. I'm sure I will wholly enjoy it. Of course you will. Uh, did I get everything from the from down here? I can't remember. I think I did. I think I did. Oh, I didn't grab. Asking me because I have no, no idea. No, I'm not. I'm asking myself. Okay. That doesn't work anymore. You already pulled everything. Aha! Jetpack. And I think, I think that's everything. <gasps> Carbon filters. You mean the ones you found on the ground because I dropped them there? Yes. Because I took them out of the Xeno 17 or whatever this thing is. Why are you excited about the thing that I? That you knew was going to be there. Because they were in my inventory and I didn't realize. Oh, okay. I think we lose a lot of stuff that way. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Can't. Okay. I'm pretty sure I already did this. And I did that. Okay. I'm going to grab the last couple of things and come over. Ow! Okay. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> that was... I, I do it all the time, too. I open up that thing for carbon filters and it smacks me in the face and it's silly all right uh pressure suit and i am on my way and we are going to let this thing go are we going to do a self-destruct uh yeah why not just let me because we gotta make sure to get away from it oh well i guess if you want to do it that way i mean if you don't want to die eh, i'm okay with dying 
You may be, but I'm not. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay, then I know what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm basically putting everything to sword on the... I'm going to fall down. <laughs> what? Okay, ML. That was silly. Okay. All right, I am back on the Xeno, which I, I'm i going to close the doors. I'm going to close that door. And I'm going to make sure that this door over here yeah okay i am going to depressurize this whole ship and then i'm going to set the self-destruct and run out through the cargo bay and then you can come pick me up okay sound fair sounds fair let me i'm still picking and stuff up though actually wait a minute i can just i'll release and move and move us away We don't, almost lost a warp cell. Don't go over there. Why? Because when you dropped it, it went. It clipped into the side of the wall. Oh, I hate that. I almost couldn't get it. Oh, hang on. I just realized I was about to do something really dumb. <laughs> Let's close this door before <clears throat> disconnecting. What do you I think? I have no words for the situation. Because what I have to say would be mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm undocking. Okay. We are separated. Okay. And now... <laughs> Actually, I can just vent all of the life support. I'm going to do it. I'm going to vent this entire thing. I just vented everything and then I'm going to move I'm going to move us away a little bit not too far Am I damaged or is it cold in here? <laughs> you took all my fuel. <laughs> of course I did. <laughs> okay, so I won't be moving. <laughs> I'm I'm not going to be moving this ship away. You're going to have to move that ship away. All right, let me grab a med kit real quick, or a stim pack, or whatever they're called. Oh. Okay. I was damaged. All right. Are you ready? For what? For you to set the self-destruct and come in. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. I'm at the helm. Okay. I just vented. Um, so you're going to want to move away. I don't know how big this explosion is going to be. I know how big. Uh, okay. It does have a countdown timer. That's good. Where how do we want how it? long is Hold it? On. <laughs> I think it's 10 minutes. Oh, seriously? Or it's five minutes. Oh, it is five minutes. Oh, I didn't realize it was going to be that long. I got all the time in the world. I'm coming aboard. Where do you want me to jump to? Are we jumping? Do you want me to go to this? I mean, we're going to want to, right? Get out of here because the explosion. Is it is that big? Far. It's pretty far. Like it's it's like you got to jump away. I that mean, I could probably go a fair distance. I'd have to go a couple kilometers. I'd be okay going 10 kilometers away. Okay. Uh, it, it's up to you. All right. If you want to get on board. Okay. I'm working on it. the engines. I heard a door. Yep. You can go wherever you like now. Okay. I am speeding away. Um, well, that's odd. Uh, it didn't fully pressurize in here. Did I accidentally cancel it or? Huh. I had to like click it a couple of extra. T oh, oh, the, the quality is bad. 
in there for some reason. Ow! I don't normally fall flat on my face. To... <laughs> sure okay. Are we jumping home? Let's just jump home. Did, did you want to... I thought you wanted to stay and watch it. I don't know. I mean, if we have to go that far away, are we going to be able to see it? Well, I guess a couple kilometers isn't that bad. If you... If you think you can get to a safe position where we can see it, that would be great. I am at a safe position. Okay. I am 13.1 kilometers out. It is dead ahead. Are you sure it is? Because I don't see yep. it. Also, I'm stuck. There we go. So do you think it's going to be climactic or anticlimactic? Proclimactic? Uh, with how the games work so far, I'm going to, you know. You're going to go with anticlimactic? Yeah. How long has it been? <laughs> Let's ask the chat. Is it worth waiting and then finding out it's going to be anticlimactic and it was just kind of like a pfft, way off in the distance? Or are we hoping that there's going to be some amazing fireworks and are willing to sit around and wait for another, what, two minutes, I guess? I don't even know how long it's going to be. Um, wait. Yes. For science. <laughs> <laughs> these are these are all okay they're saying from to stick I'm, around from what i'm seeing there is an explosion i just don't know okay don't know how long it's going to take or anything but you know, how long well five take. minutes from when i triggered it right yeah okay the chat has spoken we will wait and i'll get in the seat to make sure we're aligned correctly still that's a good idea Yep, it's still in front of us. Okay. Pilot, do your pilot thing. You want me to move closer? I mean, if we can't even see the thing, there's no way the explosion's going to do any damage to us. Right? I, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I mean... All right, we're moving closer. It should be dead center. Dead center of what? Oh, well, you've got a reticle. I don't have a reticle. I mean, there is yeah, a there reticle. Should be in the center not, of sorry. the, there should be like a dot. In well, there the is a dot, but it's at a different. Oh, see, it, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stand back here. I'm gonna put my dot on that dot. There, there we go. Just like that. I'm about ten. I think my dot away. is covering it. <laughs> oh, I see a single pixel. That's probably even not coming through on the stream because of compression. So I'm going quicker. Okay. Oh, it's two pixels now. Um, it's gone. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. That was like exciting. I, said, <laughs> I think I think when it went from one pixel to two pixels, that was the explosion. <laughs> probably. I mean, I okay, know just 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 set up a warp. Vicinity. Just just that... just set up a warp. Take us back to the base. We've we've got a fabrication module to install. I know that if you hey, are too on. close, it'll oh. blow you up. So well, yeah. I mean, if, right. if we had still been attached to each other, I'm pretty sure it would not have been a good thing. Well, not even attached. Well. I'm saying it definitely would have been a bad thing if we were still attached to each other. Could you put warp in the warp cell? Or warp in the, the, the thing? Would you Would you like some fuel? Is that what you're saying? I would. Okay. Yes, I will put some fuel. Uh, put in the least amounts because I still have like 4% on the fuel that we have. Okay. Um, let's see. I've got a 58, a 24 to 28. So I'll put the 24 in there. There you I go. can Is that just enough? barely hear myself. Uh, 
I think it might just barely be enough. Okay. If it's not, let me know. I'm carrying the rest with me. And I'm falling back down the ladder. There we go. We're heading home, right? Yeah. Okay, good. I need one more fuel cell. <laughs> okay. I will go put one more in for you. 58, and I'll put in the 28. That should be enough. And hopefully, when we get back there, we'll be able to find something that will let us actually make some warp fuel. Hopefully. At some point, I think, you know what, I think our our base is kind of screwed up. What do you mean? Like with the, the orbit and stuff? Oh, well, yeah, the orbit for our base is a mess. That's what's causing us to have such horrible warp. Um, what was what was that? Did you turn off the power back here? You mm. did. The fusion reactor is off. I'll turn it on. That's not even like the issue currently. What is the issue? The issue is you need to have like a minute in order to be able to set up a jump like this. Like a minute extra time. Oh. <laughs> okay. Are, are you sure you have enough fuel? Like, are you have plenty of fuel? I have enough fuel, I'm pretty sure. I can swap one of these out for a larger fuel. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put this 58% in there. There we go. I just want to make sure. I mean, when it says drive ready. You'd think, yeah. But it does weird things sometimes. Oh. I haven't played basketball yet. Okay, maybe it just was that we didn't have enough fuel. Almost like I knew what I was talking about. But not um, exactly. What? I really hope this marker gets off of the planet, because right now it's on the planet. Well, then... Okay. Do you want me to take the chance? Four seconds. Hey, I did it! I think. I took the chance. Okay. I heard the sound of a basketball going through a hoop. But yeah, it's uh, a little odd, isn't it? Um. Oh, that was scary. What? I just saw the, the Everest station just skim by the the ship we literally like almost skimmed the atmosphere of the oh yeah hi the trick is to fill up your inventory with other things so that when you pick up the um, basketball it actually like max like your inventory is maxed, so it has can to go I, in your um, hand. Can I tell you something else that, that you didn't could do? Work. Press and hold F when you pick it up. Oh, there's a third spot that it can go. Dang it. <laughs> when you pick it up, press and hold the pickup button. Oh, really? Yeah. It Whatever you're picking up oh. will automatically bring it to your hands. Here, try it. Oh, dude. I wish I had known that a long time ago. <laughs> I thought you did know that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did not. I got it. It does. It passes right through the backdrop. The back splash. The back. Okay. Back. I'm gonna What's throw it called? It. Back gonna... what? Oh, it hey. Can I can I catch it? Yeah. That was lame. Try... I threw it like SpongeBob. Oh, okay. Throw it to me. <sighs> what the? Like aimed for your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? 
<laughs> did it it's knock like, the breath out of you? I no. Really? But... It did when I did. I have too many batteries. Let me try. Oh, I went right over your head. <laughs> Uh, how long, um, how long is this warp jump thing? Ten minutes. Okay. I'm back home, remember? Yeah, I know. It's a long, long way to home. Hey, Epic. <laughs> what? Think fast. <laughs> yeah? yeah? You too. Got it. <laughs> oh, you did! Nice! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me try. Okay, here we go. Yep. Ha <laughs> ha! The trick is to nice. hold down F. Yep. Like, like, um... You didn't catch it. No. I lost air, though. Good. Got it. Okay. Go for it. Oh, almost. <laughs> We're good. Ah, Went the other side. <laughs> okay. Where, is it? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, it's under to your right hand side. Yeah, there you go. It's <laughs> under the uh, the box. Can you see it? Yeah, right here. Oh, <laughs> it was not there until you looked at it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. I'm gonna throw like SpongeBob. Eh. <laughs> It just bounced off your head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's, whoops, I wasn't even ready. I wasn't ready. Oh, it rolled through to the other side. It's over here. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. He is amazing. I'm a, apparently, my character is not very sportsy. Neither is mine. Got it. Nice. Again. Here it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I think the issue is I'm throwing it too When hard. When is the warp done? <laughs> don't wanna, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> okay. Whatever. We've got... Oh my gosh, we still have five minutes. Want to play some more basketball? <laughs> <laughs> Good grief. I've got a new kind of basketball I want to try. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so you like throw the ball. <laughs> <laughs> you throw the ball and I try and shoot it in the air. Okay, but we're not aiming at me. We gotta do we're safety first. Safety okay. First. Okay. Okay. No, face the other way. Oh, oh okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, go. Okay, throwing in three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try. Let me try. Okay, here I'll give you the gun. This is this is a game I'd like to play in real life. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, okay, you ready? It's not as yeah. easy as it looks. And throwing. Is that thing silenced? I, it might be. I heard it go pew, like it was. Yeah. Where did you go? Oh, that was weird. The ball was up here for me. <laughs> oh, really? It was down here. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, video games. You gotta love it. Have you have you tried throwing it into like one of these things? Ah, that actually works. Until it did disappears. Did we just lose our ball? I think we did. Oh, no. It is back there. I can see it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I got it. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. Ready? All right, hold on, hold on. Set it on the ground for a second. I want to see if we can actually interact with it. I said set it, not throw well, it. Well, I, I had my throw already primed. Okay, so hitting it does do something. Okay. Hitting it? Oh, yeah, you mean I like... shot it with a gun. Oh, okay. See, I want to try I punching it. it. Hang on. I want to try something. Okay. Um, ah, I keep hitting the wrong button. Oh, oh, this will help. 
What will help? Aiming down the iron slides. Oh, yeah, probably would. Okay, ready? Yeah. Go. That Ooh. was nothing. By the way, have you noticed that the... Uh, the <laughs> it's got bullet holes on it. I hit it. Did it? Does it really? Does it, the, it did for me. Oh, it does. Yeah, I, I see. <laughs> That's not a bullet hole. I see bullet holes. Really? Yes. Are there still bullet holes on it? Yes. Hold on, hold on. Don't don't move. Do I have a? I do, but I don't have a jetpack. Hold on. Where'd it go? Okay. Okay. Hold what are on. you What are you doing? I'm grabbing my jetpack so I can show you. You You can't fly when the gravity's turned on. No, 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 no. Okay, hold it there. Hold it there. Okay, okay. I will take a picture. There we go. Why did you need a jetpack to take a picture? Because it has energy, so I can put on the light. Oh, the light. Got it. Okay. There's actually a bullet hole in our in our basketball, huh? Yep. There's two, but... Yeah. You can did you see that it says Space second. Jam on the side? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> That's fabulous. Oh, my word. Here, I sent it to you via Discord. One minute and 40 seconds, to, by the way. You should be able to pop it up on stream so you can show people eh, that, yes. It takes time. I did shoot it. Oh, come, I, but I want to be proud of it, and you don't believe me. <laughs> I shot it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Do you really want me to? Yes. It's that important to you? Yes. Because I did it. I did a thing. All right, all right. Let me see if I can find it. Okay. Oh, um, yeah, you definitely shot it. Yay. <laughs> okay. Let me see if I can manage to get this. I need to... Do this, stick it there, then come over here, find my image overlay, browse to my desktop, find the picture, hit okie dokie, and then it should come up on screen maybe. No. Reset transform. Oh. And then put it above the game that I'm playing. There we go. Can you guys see it? I'm waiting for. Yep, there it is. And I'm see? even. I'm even gonna do this for you. If I unlock my preview, I should be able to. There you guys go. Kitten actually shot the basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! Hey, perfect timing. What do you say we go dock this thing? What do you say? That is a great idea. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to dock this thing, and then we're going Careful to module. take a quick look at it, and then we're going to end the stream because we are actually running pretty long. Yeah. But um, how close are we to home? Six kilometers. Ah, okay. So it's going to take a little bit to get there. Yep. Not a lot, but a minute or so. Uh, a couple minutes, I think, because I'm not going to use the uh, engines. I'm going to use the thrusters. Use the engines. If I do that, there's a chance I'm going to hit it. Okay. Although, hitting it may fix the orbit. <laughs> <laughs> or make Just it worse. Just saying. <laughs> That's true. It could also make it worse. Okay, I'm firing up the engines. You're what? Powering up the engines. Oh, okay. So there's this weird thing where I can't stand next to you. Yeah, in the new update, I think they uh, screwed up something in the pathway there. Is just, I think it has something to do with not being able to see the, um, to, to go to the, the front of the ship. Oh, down below? The, it's, yeah. it's some, it whatever like it is. It's an invisible barrier. For a second there, I couldn't breathe. Me too. I'm going to go check the environmental monitor. What the heck? 
it's showing that there's a hundred percent okay I'm putting my helmet on yeah so I did too that was a little concerning life support is showing that there's one bar and a hundred percent air quality 28 degrees temperature like everything's perfect I mean, I'll fire up the air generator just for fun, but that shouldn't be necessary. I agree. I don't know what's going on. This doesn't make any right. sense. And the it's saying that the external air pressure is... Like, my suit says it's less than full, but everything on board the ship says it's 1.0. If you would like to... Hmm, weird. Okay. Find your way to the um, I will do so. airlock. Oh, you know what? I am carrying a bunch of things. I'm going to drop them really quick. Not that it really matters, but I really just don't need these two things. Or a rifle. Why am I carrying a rifle? I don't even remember picking that up. Okay. Let's do this again. I need to go downstairs here for a minute. Okay, can you take those two things with you? I already left, but sure. Oh, okay. Well, then don't. Fine. Be that way. Are we close enough to be able to actually disengage and RCS our way over? Yes. Okay. Then I am going to do that. I'm also going to turn on my jetpack so it doesn't take me a week to get there. There we go. Oh, I don't know to go. Ah. RCS is not on the inside of this module. It's always on the outside. Yeah, I, except for when it's a spaceship. <laughs> yes. RCS utility access. Okay, I'm undocking you now. Thank you. Perfect timing. You're welcome. And All right, that, I'm going to go connect to... Oh, the power supply module. That's exactly what I want to connect to. As a matter of fact, I think you are actually between me and the power supply module. If you give me a second. You'll get out of my way. Indeed. I'm going to line up to the, uh, the dock. Okay. Then we have to do some repairs as well, but we'll do that after the stream. Um, actually... You are still in my way. I have some bad news. What? I think the airlock is on this side. What, what do you mean? Oh, are you saying I have to go around? Yeah, it looks like you do. Okay. That's not a or problem. Or you could just let me dock first, I guess. No, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I can do it. Got it all figured out. Because I think it's actually just on the other side of the station is what the problem is. Agreed. Yeah. I see where it is. Or I think I remember where it is, is what I should say. Yeah. I see it. Whoa, you just talked. Yep. And we're good. I'm going to set everything for maintenance mode. What? What? No, pressurize everything. Do you sure? 
Yeah. Oh yeah, we want to do one last look around, don't we? Yeah. Oh, you know what though? Um, I if you could actually, yeah, go ahead and pressurize everything, and then I'm gonna actually, um, I'm gonna come in through the docking bay on the Kristen. Okay, I'll wait over here then. I'll take your time. This is gonna take me a minute. Okay. Docking these things is not um, typically a fast process. That's true. Especially if you don't want to, like, you know, bork everything. Yep. I'm going to power up the air filter for a little bit. That's a good idea. Cycle in some good air. I'm also going to start opening doors. Okay. Here we are, and I'm docked. Uh, we've got some repairs that need to be done. We always have some repairs that need to be done. It's Hellion. That's true. Yeah, the actually the um, the fabricator module also. I am heading toward the dock, or sorry, toward the cargo bay doors. If you could. You could depressurize. Oh, wait second. a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, no, that's right. Yeah, if you just go down there and open the door. Got it. All right. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Coming. Something really peaceful about this game. Okay, cycling airlock. Opening bay door. Beautiful. Coming in. Why do we not have gravity in here? <laughs> we do. Um, sure about that? Yeah, because I'm walking around. Do you see me? You're clipping through things. Yeah. I'm, uh... I think that bug is still here. Here. Go... Try going outside the ship again. Well, if I just... I can go up the, um... Oh, no, I can't. Can you open up the... Hmm... Actually, can I? I can't interact with anything, can I? Let me cycle the airlock so I can get up. Okay. This is great stuff. I mean, they were pretty sure they fixed the bug, but you know. <laughs> well, there's definitely still a bug. Make sure I'm you betting up and go up with me just in case. Like maybe get up to the door. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I think I think this will fix what, as soon as I pass between the ship and the outpost. It did not. You might well. You're also in an airlock. So. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there you go. I'm good. <laughs> oh, funny, funny things. All is good. Uh, let's go check out this module, huh? Yeah, let's <laughs> see it with. So I'm suddenly suffocating. Oh, you're also... And I'm okay again. It's all good. Hold on. Oh, are you going to yeah, do I'm the thing? Oh, again? And then I'm good. I'm betting logging out and back in again. Yep. Okay. Every transition switches me one way or the other. <laughs> If I log out and back in again, it'll solve the problem. Yeah, it's definitely sure. not a complete game, guys. <laughs> um, can you open the door for me? Where are you? Just come back. Thank you. 
<laughs> Let's see if it. Uh, it's like having your own balloon. Let's see if going in here will do anything. No. Oh. I'm stuck. Go. No. Go ahead. Good. But you have to open the door again for me. <laughs> Yay! It's all good. Everything's in black and white, but hey, I can fix that. Just go to the fabricator, make myself a... Ooh, I'm going to make an advanced thing. Just need some more alloys. There we go. I want this kind of 3D printer. Oh, nice. Oh, I didn't actually get to see it print either. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Ooh. We should be able to make posters. You know, I tried to convince Maddie to get a food version of that. Because <laughs> they sell one. Like, it, it makes chocolate. Oh, they have chocolate. chocolate. They also have a, they also have a um, pancake like one. A, yeah, and they, I think there's a mint one, too. I just, <laughs> oh, I'd be awesome. Silly. Uh, anyway, so... I think, hang on, I just realized that I don't have. So, hey, stream, welcome to the Epic Tech Workshop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is go. Epic T, this is Workshop. He'll be spending 90% of Hellion in here. <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, there's only <laughs> so much you can do in here, but I will be spending some time in here. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, we've got some, we've got some stuff to do, don't we? Oh, mm -hmm. I need that. I'm taking the welding tool. Well, that was my welding tool, but okay. Yeah, well, it's mine now. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we also have a whole bunch of stuff to process that we picked up. Oh, I also have a gift for you. <laughs> Just take off your clothes right there in front of me, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of health. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, it, by that, the way. That's a good one. For... What? Oh, are you talking to me or what? No, you. Oh, okay. Uh, for for people who have been watching the series, I can finally see health on yes. the warp cells. <laughs> we checked that. Uh, yay. Okay. Um, I think that's about all we can do. I yeah. hate to say it. I mean, good grief, we're an hour over on the stream. So if okay. you guys enjoyed this, come back uh next we uh, i might i think it's a week after next or two weeks after next i think i think so i've got i don't remember the exact dates i've got one or two weeks that i it's either this upcoming saturday or the following saturday and the fall and the one after so it's two weeks in a row that i'm not going to be able to stream because i have two different things going on um <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Golly! <laughs> that yeah. made the best noise. That was, it did actually. It was like clunk. Anyway, so <laughs> we. I think we are going to be doing a lot more Hellion, especially if you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you did enjoy this, please hit that thumbs up button because that tells us exactly how much you enjoyed it. Um, I think we're going to probably be doing mostly Hellion as a stream and not doing recordings. Um, just because Hellion is a slower game and it fits streaming a lot better. It, I mean, yeah. it, normally I'll have more time to look at chat and that kind of thing. I'm also looking at dual streaming between YouTube and Twitch. So... Um, I think that that would be a good thing. What are you doing? I'm the like button crab. If you don't press the like button, I'm going to crab smack you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. <Okay>. What? <laughs> you knocked the wind out of me. <laughs> Did I? It didn't even seem like I hit you. On, okay. Anyway, so definitely check the description to go to uh, Kitten's um, channel. There's a link to the Discord server and all kinds of things and any i think that's it is that it is that it and i'll see you next time will you 
I'll see you next time <laughs> on Epic Tech. On Epic Tech. <laughs> <laughs> nice.